There you go. Bobby Kelly yeah. in studio. No way. We're here. Yeah, let's start the show off on a nice. <laughs> Yeah, you know, one of our friends is dead. Here's a GoFundMe. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we should, we got to plug it, you know? Yeah, you do. Uh, we love you, I Steve. mean, they're almost there. Here's the problem with Donate. GoFundMe. They always, no matter how much they do it, they do too low. Right. You got to just drop a mil. They're already at 100 grand. If you put a mil, you would have got 500 grand. So does it stop? Like if I give a $1,000, it'll I mean, just you, not do it? It keeps going, but when I look at it, I'm like, look, I, I'm, I'm out. Right. You did what... You got what you wanted. The bar was too low for the kindness. They always put the bar too low. Aim yeah. higher. Yeah. Well, Steve, if you uh, don't know, is our beloved uh, head of security at the Comedy yes. Cellar and uh, great guy. Was great there 22 guy. years. Yeah. yeah. And Nick Dante put this up. I, his cut is 40%. <laughs> <laughs> and then know, another 10 goes to CAA. Yeah. Then, <laughs> Dante's going to roll up on a new motorcycle. Garrett, he's going to have a new earring, like some type of gazelle bone earring, or a real rhino tusk earring. How does he do it? Every time I show up at a club, he's parked insanely illegally, and he never gets towed, right. never gets a ticket. He's got a giant Jeep on jacked up tires. That's how you do it. Is that is that the secret? 100%. Not well, you, one ticket. Pull up in a Hyundai, and they're going to give you a ticket. Uh, you pull up in a, a, a apocalypse vehicle, <laughs> and you look like Mad a, Max vibes for sure. Mad Max vibes, and he, he has he literally has animal bones sticking out of parts of his body. He does, yeah. yeah. He's an ex pimp, right? Yeah, he's an ex pimp <laughs> and a stripper. He was a stripper. What, Damn. dude? He was a male stripper. Wow. He would smack himself when he got out of line <laughs> <laughs> with his own cock. Yeah. <laughs> he, that's crazy to be a stripper. That's like a crazy job. Hey, I, I got to do it once. Really? What? Young yeah. Bobby? Yeah, sexy Bobby. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> sexy Bobby was a stripper? Well, this this girl who I knew was a stripper. And we used to tan together when I went tanning. I to... <laughs> <laughs> sexy Bobby had to go tanning. You got to go Listen. tan. Listen, you gotta fucking, you gotta play the role. If you're gonna go in, you go in. <laughs> Jim yeah. Tan what do you think I'm, I'm gonna wear tight jeans and a wife beater and not tan? Yeah, you don't wanna be pale with the veins. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have tan arms and then some farmer shit. So you lay in one of the beds <laughs> oh. with the little things on the your eyeglass. Fuck things? the little things. I went in, get those cancer eyes. I manned up. Yeah. I, I had two little dots <laughs> on my butt. I don't know if you know when you go tan and when you your your bone presses against it doesn't tan so you have a little all tanning people have two little ah. dots and their white dots in their butt yeah we used to tan together she came out one day she goes can i ask you something i was like what she goes i'm i dance i strip and uh, i do private stuff but sometimes they want bachelorette parties and stuff and i'll i'll do we'll do like a uh i like they want a couple's thing like, would you do that with me <laughs> i was like did you just ask me to strip wow nice that's yeah. a compliment it did was you, a compliment. Did you think about it i i for two seconds i my robert patrick kelly i don't have the piece uh, I, don't, I don't have a piece to be stripping. The Irish curse. Yeah, plus I get hard. Back then I got hard too quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I just got hard at anything. So I would just, I would just show up just with a rod, just a, yeah. like a five and a half inch just sticking out of my little gold lame G <laughs> string. Half, that's not terrible. No, it's not, well, I mean, yeah, For your height, bad. that's all right. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not uh, bad. When I was a kid, we had a strip club, and they would, if you turned 18, they'd bring you on stage, and all the girls would dance on you. And if you got a boner, you'd have to pay. But if you didn't get a boner, you were gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had to pay later yeah. in life to your father. Yeah. You had to yeah. suck the owner's dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I met Mateo. <laughs> well, that's like you go to those. Uh, remember Bachelor Party, the two strippers in Bachelor Party? Oh, is yeah. That Liz? Oh, Holy shit. Oh, Liz, Liz, Liz. Liz. Wow, look who's Liz. Wow, late you're tonight. late. This wow, is, who's is that Liz? Godfrey? Who's yeah. that Sherrod? This is oh, weird. Jeez, Louise. Oh, hell, it's fun because you always yell at us for being late, and now you're Traffic late. Traffic I know. Dude, what the fuck? You don't like Why is your clubhouse in the middle of <laughs> know. hell? What the fuck? It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I'd rather oh do this in the God. favelas of Brazil. Uh, we yeah, but you just like the free prostitutes in Brazil. Uh, that's that's true. true. Not free, but yeah, very not cheap. Free, but very cheap. cheap. <laughs> Basically free. Basically free Jesus if you're American. Great. <laughs> what? Uh, Good to have you. You hate coming because you both drove in. That's why. Yeah, but 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 we're hu we're regular people. I didn't think not, it was gonna take fucking forty five minutes in an Uber to get yeah. here. Wow. Forty five. Take a train. The train takes three minutes. Not all of us are Van Wyler just walking through the city oh, every day. I Van got it. Is that what he did? I don't know. That's what Van Wilder did. That's what he was I think he was like a college party guy. I just love, I just love Ryan Reynolds. I like to squeeze him in where I can. <laughs> but sometimes it doesn't work. He's very cute. <laughs> By the way, we had his gin here, Aviation Gin, and when Phil Hanley was
was on. He's a gin snob, and he always yeah, like, I only drink. Uh, I only drink Monkey eighty seven, uh, Monkey, Monkey forty seven, whatever. Yeah, yeah. He, I only drink that. So we literally got aviation gin that bottle. Yeah. That's all we had, and we just put a fake uh, sticker of Monkey forty seven. None the water. He, he has no. I've never clue. seen. No idea. I've never seen this uh, bottle before, and we're like, we never told him. Yeah, because he's an idiot. He's we a- just <laughs> he, he just drank gin. They were like, this is a great drink. We're like, hey, you fucking piece of shit. He's a fake snob. There he you go. First of all, this Canadian hack. Ah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's hack at this point. We love it's, Patrice. We oh, it's, get it's it. our wall of it's death. Just dead people? Oh, all dead people. Oh, these are all dead people. Yeah, it's all dead you were people. We're almost on there. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about. Oh, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> but good yeah. to have you. You have oh, a half God. a picture of Keith up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just a silhouette. <laughs> he was booked a month ago. He's still not here. <laughs> <laughs> He's working. This oh area God. of town Jesus sucks. Christ. I know you got a deal or whatever it is i don't know what happened this to get here if you don't live in this city the train stinks the train is you right can't there. take the train you'll get murdered i, take no, it should, have, I should have fucking just taken the no, goddamn a train we're taking man. the train back uh, clearly yes, yes. The as you should. leave the park. car come back another day i took a loan out to park the car over here <laughs> <laughs> how much God, was the parking it's a hundred something bucks no. probably, probably. We'll pay for it. i got it down to 55 i gave him a hand job oh. did you yeah. Yeah. Young Bobby, dude. Yeah, young Bobby. Hot Bobby. Yeah, he had uncircumcised, so I knocked him down another 10. Oh. I was like, that's gross. I'm not doing that. He was like, okay. Just dude, look at that. You had that look out. at that hair you have. Yeah, that's, Ameri- that, that's American Indian Bobby right wow. there. Wow, Theo Vaughn looks good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sexy Bobby. A little after that, though, when I had my... Um, and you took it down, I think. The, what? I don't know. You know, the you what? know. The seller photo, the sexy one. Oh, that's hot, a hot Bobby. Why hot Bobby's there? still there. No, no, Esty likes to rearrange. Well, I got you know where I, I, I love you in the East Street Band. What yeah. is that? <laughs> no, that, that's uh, rock and roll, Bobby. Toxic rock. Dude, that's what about eyebrow Bobby? Pointing eyebrow oh, that's Bobby. Sec- what that's is sexy that? ball Bobby. That's hot. Who is yeah. that? That's oh, oh, oh yeah. there's Puerto damn. Rican. There's Puerto Rican Puerto Bobby. Rican Bobby. Oh my God. Puerto How Rican. did you get your beard like that? That is dude, it took a lot. If you fucked it up, you had to start over too. Wow, did you do it yeah. with a switchblade? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so nice. Yeah, look at Jesus. that. I'm hanging myself because I'm so you disgusted. You do look like the my... hot dude in prison there. Oh, yeah. Look, wow. You're smoking hot. You got great yeah. skin. I got really look at those skin. cheekbones. Skin. I do. I do have great skin. I think my great-great-grandmother fucked a Filipino woman. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many women do you think you've laid in Me? your day? Yeah. How many have you bedded? At the cellar? Bobby? Yeah, let me tell you. Oh, my God. That's for first of <laughs> all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Colonel Kurtz. I'm, I'm going to stop you. That's doctored. Now, I'm fat. Uh, <laughs> Somebody did something to that. He needs a doctor. Oh, my that's God. Not, that's not. No. Oh, my God. That was no. real. That, <laughs> one's, oh, that, that one's real. That's this, real. That's shit. Brando. Yeah. That's in. I, I haul. Can you make some more noise? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in a shitty comedy club right here. <laughs> oh, I'm in a fucking my traffic. God. I got this fucking shit. Drool shaking a fucking drink. The blender's someone, next. I'm sorry, buddy. Take your time. Uh, yeah, those that are all. That's doctor. Here. That's doctor. No, yeah. no way. No. That's a getty that? image. That's real, Bobby. Oh no, that's real. That's fat. <gasps> I was that fat. I was gonna die. Jesus. You were gonna die. I went on the wall. Anyways. You should be halfway. I want old, I want old Bobby dead. <laughs> that's on the not wall. doctor. That's you need to go to a doctor. Yeah, right yeah, I did, and go to and get my stomach. Sh- <laughs> Thank cut, God, dude. Cut down. Yeah. Was that scary? What, get my stomach? Yeah. You yeah, know, you, tell you, us everything. You got well, the, the operation thing? was terrifying because, you know, you want to do it. I did it, tried to do it for years. I couldn't do it. So finally, I was like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this thing. But it takes a while. You have to, you can't just go in and get it. Some doctors do that. But if you have a doctor that's like, yeah, come in Tuesday. Yeah. I'll cut your stomach up. You're, don't do it, right? Wow. He answers his own phone. Yeah. And yeah. It, it, it's, there's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up? How's your, how's your, how's your dude? Yo, dude. I saw you special. I'll be in Midtown. What's up, Patty? Yeah, I don't want my doctor knowing my Insta, like following me on Instagram. Right. But um, there's people that have done it that we. It's like being gay mm. because all these people have done it that I know, oh. but they're not out. I came mm. out. Good for you. Uh, thank you very much. I can't wait for you to do it. Um, <laughs> it's the same with the hair plugs. A lot of I was going to say it's the like hair the hair plugs. shit, yeah. right? But like Soda and Mateo are very open about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Soda got them? 
Oh, yeah, he talks about Apparently it. Well, now he's, he's out. It. <laughs> now he's it's out. In it's in his act. It's in his act. Okay, okay, okay. You're that guy that outed the kid by accident uh, growing up. Oh, yeah. He's I, a Jew. <laughs> Get him. Uh, I feel bad for Mateo. I think I was the cause of Mateo getting hair plugs. No, no, no. What? Mateo was as bald as you are. Well, he was going, one day we were getting in. I didn't in, notice it. We were getting into it. He's dealt with well. the right way. Yeah, that yeah. shit was. A master. One day we were getting into it, and I was like, listen, buddy. Your hair is going. You did if you say gain that. eight pounds, you're, you're out of the done. business. Oh. You're done. I go, I made it like this. <laughs> <laughs> you did say that. I felt bad about that, too. He's such a funny guy. And a hunk. He's you're a like hunk. You're, you have a perfectly uh, Perfect. shaved head. There's it's my no mother. Gents. My mother takes care. She rolled me every 20 minutes in the crib. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> really? Every 20 minutes, you're supposed to roll the baby. If you don't, if you just let wow. the baby sit, if you have a, I don't know about that shit. If you have a, you if you see me? a dude with a flat back head, his mother didn't care about him. Oh he no, just, she just was smoking cigarettes on the front porch talking to Helen. Oh, he was just uh, lying. a flat head. I got a waterfall back here. Yeah, just you, go straight you, off yeah, a cliff. Your parents didn't care about you. <laughs> well, yeah, your mom does give great head. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> she gives mediocre head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pumped for these she, beer juice. What are we drinking? Uh, oh, I hope it's fucking good. Espresso martinis. Oh god! Wow, oh, god. looks great. Breakfast. It's great. I mean, you. Re this guy's real. Oh, he's yeah. a mixologist. I mean, look yeah, at that fucking no apron, joke. man. He paid money for that shit. Yeah, he's mm. got he's got steampunk he jewelry and everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's leather on that. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, what is what's going on with the rings there? What do those say? They don't say anything. They just say, "Don't fuck with me." Oh, oh right. Well, there you go. That's he the end of that fun. <laughs> we'll back yeah. to fucking with each other. Yeah, I guess. That's tougher than a guy in an apron. <laughs> you can't fuck with a guy with Jeez, a hairline that. like that. That is a yeah. that's a beautiful that's Russian hair. head of hair. That yeah. is legit. Are you Russian? Yes, I am. Oh, perfect. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> and Ukrainian, so don't. Oh, great. Don't that's oh, awesome. Yeah, I guess this race. is the guy you want in a comedy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going to spice things up. <laughs> yeah, I dare you to say you don't like that drink. <laughs> you got the little bean in the top, too, the, the garnish. Ooh. Ooh. No, that's great, man. Ooh. Well done. This Looks is delight. fancy. Amazing. Thank hey, you very much. You, now, you, what do you hey. do for the rest of the time? <laughs> To Bobby's health. <laughs> All right. Good. Hey, let's, yes. let's toast hey. to Bobby's health. Yay. Thank you, thank you so being much. back. We hey, love you. We're so you glad back, that Bobby. you're uh, thank you. Glad you're healthy. healthy. New special yeah. out. Check out his new special. Yes. Kill Box on LouisCK.com. Yes. Get One it. of the funniest dudes in comedy. One please, of the hardest Please follows. check this out. LouisCK.com. Oh, shit. That's Bobby so good. Kelly. There's cinnamon. Ooh. Sorry. I got Hang on one second. Hey, Liz, you want to shut up while they're doing my class? No, no, I got distracted by the cinnamon. What an ass. Oh, my God. Out of anybody who supports me. It tastes like cake. This is so weird. Bobby, you would have been distracted too this is delicious oh this mm. is really alcohol and food this is yeah. what you want to do to me mm -hmm. on this podcast oh, sorry that's delightful <laughs> yeah. why don't you bring yeah. us was, uh, so sweet syrup, so Ooh -wee. that is ridiculous no dairy at all so it's just mm. wow mm. i'm gonna need another one. Oh yeah <laughs> Mark sees Liz last night at the cellar. He's like, do you think you can handle day drinking? As he's saying it, she's got an Aperol spritz this tall. Uh, I think so, oh, no, yeah. actually, it was a martini. It was a, martini. Big martini. It was a pint. Yesterday was a martini She was day. drinking a pint glass martini. Oh, yeah. And it was not her first, I don't think. No, and you were in the Probably, basement yeah, alone. The second. I got to I, I come back. I You know I haven't worked the cellar in over a year. What? I have been on the cellar stage in over a year. Mm -hmm. What? Why? Is this because of the... Operation? No, 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 no. <laughs> because uh, I went away for the summer. Uh, I've been on the road, you know. I, I got a family. Yeah. It's like I go and I do Tuesdays, you know, and I don't need to, you know, Friday and Saturday night. I've been on the road for months. And then you come home and you want to spend the Friday and Saturday. COVID fucked and ruined me. Yeah. Up until then, I was I was there at least. Yeah. Three times a week on weekends. If I had a weekend off, I'd be there at least four or five shows. Mm -hmm. I, I lost, like, I don't even know how to be funny anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know how to write a joke. I have a bunch of things that I write down, but I don't know how to take it to, I don't know how it becomes a joke anymore. Come on. You'll get yeah. it right back. You go I know you, two, two, three times. You just put out a special. I, but I did a special, but it's I have nothing left. Yeah, but that's how you always that's, feel after a special. You just put out one out yeah. too. Yeah, it, it's the worst feeling in the world. I got gigs coming up, and now the the curve is good. It's, huh? I think it's a good motivator. It's good to have nothing because you yeah. have to figure it out. You have yeah. no choice but to figure it out. Yeah, I think I guess so. I mean, but it's a fuck. Like I gotta go this weekend to Cleveland, mm. and it's like oh, yeah. I, hilarities, yeah. hilarities. Top good five club. club in the country. Great Top five? Food. I think it's great in there. club. I first one. We're not. We don't count the can't count, can't count cellar or no. LA clubs. I'm talking like road clubs, side splitters. 
Seisler's in the mix. Solid. Solid. I would say top five. Bobby loves great that. club. You love, I, yeah, I love it. Uh, BT. What I love it? I love side splitters, but hilarities is like, like, t- it's Everybody comedy loves works. Hilarity. Hilarity is great. They comedy works, you. I would say, but comedy works in Denver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but she don't work me no more, so I got to take her out of my. Car. <laughs> so she's gone. I love wow. wise guys in Utah. I don't know. Isn't that weird? Mm. I have no idea. Yeah. That is the worst. I mean, worked there consistently. Great club. It was cool, but then it's funny because we're all mm. gonna have beef with one of these clubs. We're right. gonna knock out. Yeah. I love Madison. Madison's love great. Madison, top five. Yeah, yeah. top five. Hilarious yeah, has got to be in there. Just top the five. Okay, care top five. You. Top five. But then there's a couple sleepers like uh, Utah. I love Utah. What is that one called? Wise, Wise guys. guys. That's a great club. Wise Keith guys, is the fucking man. I love Wise that guys. Club. Wise guys is a great club. The yeah. Tempe Improv is solid. I don't know. I, don't I just know, did CB Live and I liked it. Oh, I, really? I really liked I just did that. Stand club. Up Live. I, lo- I love all those. I like yeah, those street clubs. Phoenix is stand cool. Up. Man. That's yeah. all brands. We won't have balls. Let's yeah, talk yeah. about the top five suck clubs right oh. now. Oh. That's more. I remember a club I did called Loonies with two E's. <laughs> <Yeah>. Colorado Springs. <laughs> wow. Woo. Wow. One of those clubs where all week and the all week the guy was like, "You gonna drink?" And I was like, oh, "I'm just I'm not feeling great." He goes, "Come on, have a beer, you pussy." And I was like, "All right, fine." So I started drinking. Then he hands me a bill for all the drinks. I oh. saved happened to me at the Funny I hate Farm. That we, I, I'm working the club. <laughs> yeah, Funny Farm in Youngstown, Ohio. Yeah. Suck my ass. That guy up he upsold me. He's like, "You got to get the swordfish." And he's like, "Here's a good <laughs> wine that goes with the swordfish." I'm like, "Okay, you know, I'm the comic here." And then he gives me a bill for two hundred bucks. No way. Holy yeah, shit. that was like half my my pay. Jesus Christ. Youngstown, Ohio, famous for their swordfish. Yeah, oh, yeah good. exactly. Very sure good. Yeah. Landlock. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I, any club with the guy's name in front of it? Vinny Brand. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nah, Stress oh, Factory. I love Solid. Stress Factory, yeah. Not Bridgeport, but. <laughs> oh, that one. Holy Ooh. shit. There's, if you do Bridgeport Stress Factory, at least one show, you're going to get near attacked. Mm-hmm. There's gonna there's gonna be yes. heckling that borders on the point. I mean, I got chased off stage in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Really? At the yeah. little Bijou Theater, someone chased me off the fucking stage. They were oh, right. I forgot at, at, at Vinny's Club? No, it was at a different venue. But it's like that's well, they, the vibe. Bridgeport's tough. Well, they keep uh, saying, city. "Oh, dude, it's all, it's coming back. It's not. Where's the camera?" <laughs> That camera, <laughs> it's not coming back. <laughs> Guess what, Connecticut, Bridgeport? You, you're you what you are. You're like my mother. You ain't ever going to change. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's a man who's in therapy right there. Yeah, he's got the right. <laughs> it's not coming back. It's not coming back. You know, I don't care how many brew houses. They think they had a <laughs> brew house and a nice breakfast place with lesbians. Right. And a town's coming back. That's, <laughs> that only happens in New Hampshire. Okay? Right. That only happens in the woods. In Vermont. Yeah, you Portsmouth, can't... New Hampshire is like a cute little city. There. Portsmouth great, is great. great yeah. It happens in woodsy towns. Yeah. Yeah. You can't take an urban city yeah. that fell down. You can't make Detroit. You can't take a couple gays and three lesbians and make Detroit have a big comeback. Yeah, yeah they can save a neighborhood, but not a city. Yeah, you can save it with a piece of pizza. Right. You can save a the certain section. Good. Detroit pizza's Yeah, but you you can't walk out the door. Sure. You have to get right into your car. Yeah, yeah. right. Seamless. That's yeah, what you yeah. do. It. Let him get shot. I'm yeah, not doing yeah, it. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. yeah. And always be the always be the first person to walk out. <laughs> Never be the middle person. It's like snakes. The middle guy gets bit. You know Is that what I mean? Right? Yeah, dude. When you come out of a place in a bad neighborhood, get to the car. All right. Don't be the second or third guy because that's the guy they're like, all right, go, 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 go. Yeah. I feel like the first person's the guy who gets yeah, shot. Yeah, right? I no. I the first, yeah. No, 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 no. They, when you're outside and you see a gang of kids or something like that, they got to notice. Right? They're going to be like, yeah, man, fuck that. What the fuck? What's this shit? You're by there at the uh, car. You're just talking about like, what's how What's going you on? They're going to go to you. Hey. Yeah. And you'll go, what? Huh? Come here. What? And you'll walk over. Yeah. I don't know why Why we we just walk over. You ever have somebody do that? Some fucking lunatic go, come here for a second. You oh, walk yeah. over. What? What's wrong? <laughs> I've been there. And you then they walk knock the books over? Out of your hand. Yeah, because they don't have, they, they don't have, they've never been beaten up. It doesn't, it doesn't, in their head, they're not like, uh, this guy might need some help. Right. Did you ever do that when you were what? a kid? Like, hey, hey, come here, and then kick the shit out of someone? A hundred percent. Yeah. Really? That's why you know it's the middle. I, and I feel, I uh, still Bobby. feel, I still feel bad about, because uh, let me just say this. I got beat up a lot. Mm-hmm. I got really abused by kids a lot. I got beat up all the time. I used to have to hide in sixth grade. I would, I was full, we were all wrestling one day and one of the kids got hurt mm. and he told his older brothers uh, that older were in brother. seventh and eighth grade. Oh shit. They all would, every day for months, I would, I would have to, they would dismiss us. I would go into the bathroom and hide, 
look out the window and you'd see kids in the bushes <laughs> waiting for me. Whoa. And then I'd hide under the stairs until like Jesus. three. And then I'd, I'd make my way home. Every day I That's walked awful. home in fear like I was going to get killed. That's Yikes. so sad. Yeah. Until seventh grade. And then seventh grade, this kid used to, I mean, I used to get you know picked on, bullied. And there's one blonde kid. It's always like a, always a, a ginger, you know, yellow teeth and braces. You know, that fucking Christmas story douchebag. Mm, yeah, the white trash kid. Yeah, it's always that, yeah, that just Irish asshole. <laughs> right. Uh, he got me in the hallway, but I broke my wrist and I had a cast on my <gasps> wrist. Uh, and you broke it hitting him? No, I broke my wrist playing. Then so he had, had a weapon. Cast. Yes. He got me in the hallway. I was going to the bathroom and he got me in between like the stairs and then there's the door and then the hallway to the to the classes. <laughs> oh, my pro oh, my fucking <laughs> hallway. <laughs> so uh yeah, he got me in there and I I I got so 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 it all just came out. I just started beating the fuck out of him with Whoa. my cast nice. until it was bloody, Damn. and he was crying. And I walked away, and I go, "Don't ever fuck with me again." <laughs> Nobody. And I went ever back did. to class, and I was just shaking. And then over the PA, you hear, uh, "Anybody with a cast on their right arm, please report to the office." <laughs> like, mm. So I went to the office. There was like two other kids with cast <laughs> crying, <They're> like, mm. <laughs> and I walked in with blood all over me. I was like, "I did it." Whoa, that's, yeah. a tough, that's a tough lineup right there to get out of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I did that stuff. And then I hung out with kids. I mean, the kids, I hung out with, I was 13 hanging out with 30 year olds. Damn. And I was hanging out at parks with these, I mean, drug so addict alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was waiting for him. What is that? <laughs> so it's Kevin Spacey. Mean... I, uh, I was like Epstein or Spacey. Yeah. Which one's he going to pick? <laughs> I was just watching. <laughs> yeah, dude, I got I got beat up a lot. We used to drink yeah. when I, at my park. We'd have potion night. So uh, the oldest Just guy, like Kevin Spacey, <laughs> that's, oh, that's actually Bill Cosby. <laughs> okay. uh, they would, um, yeah. the guy would go down. Everybody would give all your money—a dollar, five dollars, whatever. You give it to the big guy, mm. Mikey Katz. He would go down, thirty-year-old guy. He'd go down and buy mudslide mixes, all kinds of mixed drinks. They called it potion night. He would come back and you get cheese cups and he would mix all these like you. He was you, except he murdered people. Uh, not that you don't murder people. I understand. He's killed a few hooks. Tell about your fucking John Wick beard. That he's uh, but uh, but uh, he would make drinks and he'd give you a drink and he'd walk around. And when he'd go, here's how we know how, you had a drink, you had to trug it. What's and a cheese cup? Sorry. Cheese cup, the uh, red cups. Oh, like a red solo. That, cup. Those are oh, okay, okay. Italian. I've never heard anyone call that a cheese cup. Well, that's what they were for back in the uh, Italian uh, like delis. Cubes. They would put grated cheese in those. Oh. Uh, so we call them cheese cups. Look, Kasha's Bakery had the cheese cups. Okay, you get okay. those. Uh -huh. And uh, if you didn't drink your drink, he'd fucking you'd get punched in the face. What did he say to make you? Here's drink? how we know how we'd all have to just drink Shut what up. I was in you. How uh, uh, as much as it was. The cult. I'm 13, right. trugging down these drinks. And if he, if he looked in your cup and saw a little bit left, he'd wrap you right in the head. I mean, these are the guys I hung out with. Right. At 13. He was 30. 30, yeah. And then other people in this group were like, how old were they? 18, all 20, 25. We, we hung out this park uh, at night. At, during the day, it was a regular park for kids. At night, it was our little gang or whatever. Not gang, but it was all the Italian kids hung out there. And wow. we would hang out and just drink and do drugs all night and... And and fuck with other fuck with people, you know. Yeah. People, if you walk through that park at night, it, you were a, it was an it was a scary thing. Are, are you in touch with any of these people still? No. Once in a while, one of them, they came to the cellar. Two of them no. came to the cellar one night, oh, and no. they were fucking trashed. Uh, they were like, "Fucking Bobby, we saw your fucking name, dude. <laughs> what the fuck?" <laughs> and I got him in this. I guys, you got to calm down. I will calm down. We'll calm. Well, you fucking here, dude. Yeah. And I got him. I said, "Stand in the hallway." They watched me go up, and they were like, "What the fuck?" They were nuts, and they were like, "We gotta go." They didn't. Even <laughs> they we gotta go. Hey. They were like, "We gotta go." We're getting some. They were doing drugs and all fucked up. But oh, yeah, they're God. walking up to an old lady. Finish that drink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, they, they taught me at, I think, uh, 11, no, 12, how to drink alcohol. Like, you would get a pint or a half a pint of Soko, and they, uh, this guy, Jake Gagliotti, oh. taught me how to one sip it. So mm. you drop your tongue. So the that's how it you doesn't suck dick, hit your Bobby. tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Different story. Well, I taught him how to suck dick. Uh, okay. He got me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is very similar. We're on the really same is. trajectory. Just all, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you drop your tongue, it doesn't hit your tongue. You don't taste it. You don't gag. Got so it. I, yes, I can, exactly. I can one sip a, a, a pint. A half. Really? I could, I could do a half a pint of... My drink was Alan's uh, 101 Petman Schnapps and oh. a rack of Oh, my God. 
What? I would half sip. He was 13. Go easy on him. I guess yeah, so, I but schnapps is hard. I'd rather not get you. No, but schnapps is sweet. Like when sweet, you were a kid, yeah. peach True. schnapps, same. I was yeah. like, yeah. Peppermint yeah. schnapps, though. Peppermint like, schnapps. I had a saying, uh, uh, Allen's 101. Uh, w pleasure, W fun, W vision with Allen's 101. Nice. And we would, thank you. And then. Uh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> We, I was, kid, what are you doing here? You got a future in ad sales. <laughs> yeah, you're a poet. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. We my, and I used to drink Wild Irish Rose. Mm. What is that? That's uh, they call bum juice. Very uh, cheap. Uh, it's like, like a um, whiskey? it's whiskey and wine mixed. Yay! Mm. Oh my. Yeah, but you can get a gallon whiskey of it for like wine? two fifty. Right. So when you're thirteen. And you, you know, you, you, oh, it's like Mad Dog. Yeah, it's Mad Dog. Mad Dog Twenty Twenty. Same thing. It's syrupy. I know yeah. that stuff. I hate that shit. But get you that oh, right there. I used oh. to get that, and I would hillbilly it. I would just whip it on my shoulder, wow. drink, drink half of it, be fucked up for the night. Damn. I remember. Yeah, I drank a lot of that shit. Right. Remember there. the kids who would do the peppermint schnapps and just pour Hershey syrup in it and make a peppermint patty. No, I didn't no. know about that. It's fucking disgusting, but it tasted pretty good. I don't yeah. know. But then you're like, did I just get drunk on peppermint? It's like, you feel uh, horrible. Of course. It's all sugar. <laughs> but it's, dude, it's it tasted pretty good. But, what's yeah. that drug that you take that, uh, what's that drug you take that you don't get a hangover? That doesn't uh, work. Heroin. Heroin. <laughs> yeah, you take heroin, you don't feel you the hangover. Going. Yeah, <laughs> you, you don't keep, feel any pain. No regret. You just keep going. It's great. I feel. I hate myself the day after these. But... Oh yeah, and the day before. Yeah, oh, but I saw heroin's up in the village. I saw you like think? a couple heroines uh, last night. Oh, they yeah. are everywhere. Yeah. They're doing it. I got out to do Jim and Sam a couple weeks ago, and the guy was just doing it. Two dudes just shooting up right there at the parking lot. Yeah, on, on, yeah. On uh, yeah. eighth or ninth F. It was Opie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, it just sucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's a shame. I don't know why that made me feel bad. <laughs> I don't know why yeah, it no, did. I didn't feel good when I said it either. <laughs> I don't know why. Dopey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, heroin's up. It's all up. It feels like uh, old New York again. Subway Jesus, slasher, man. guy mm. at McDonald's with the fucking hammer. It's getting wild out there. Yep. It was the a village. stampede at the Halloween parade. The village what do you mean a stampede? Stinks. Just a bunch of guys what, running. Somebody take their dick out? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it is... It's got an energy back. I know it's a little dangerous, but you do feel like it's kind of fun. It does feel like a video game down there. It's GTA. It's not yeah. fun. No? I mean, no, I mean, I understand because I was here in the 90s yeah. and it was still fucked up. Um, this getting, is like on the that way again. to getting it's, it's like that yeah. again. But I think it's a little worse than that. Yeah. Because back then we had Giuliani, yeah. who was tr literally just setting up a mobile cop unit at Washington Square Park. Really? Yeah. And it got so bad, though, with a Bloomberg, they were giving out tickets for being too loud. What? They went too far. Yeah. yeah. It was wow. a loud ticket. Well, this is now the opposite bucks. end of that spectrum. Yeah. I mean, literally, like on Bleecker Street, yeah. it's just. Dudes just needles in every part of their body. Yeah. Just heroin nodding. Yeah, yeah they, they, they they break they, into my they, building they, all the time. Really? All oh, the that's time. Scary. That will stop yeah. waving. Oh, the yeah, someone the what happened in your building? What there was someone in the building recently that you saw, right? Yeah, there was they're like all the cellars are connected in those old tenement buildings. <laughs> so someone went in like two blocks away and came out on the kitchen at Carbone and was like, What's up? Whoa, yeah. that's hilarious. They're like rats. Yeah. They're just yes. popping up everywhere. They're rats. Yeah, me and Billy Burr lived on 97th, I think in 97 or 98. And I we would come out on our stoop in the morning and I, there was a regular chick who'd just be shitting underneath our stairs. Damn. And she'd be like, don't worry, baby, I'm going to pick it up. And she would. She'd, <laughs> like nice. a dog, would just scoop it up wow. with her hand and take it with her. And I'd be like, thank <gasps> you. She just wanted a little cubby hole to take a shit. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't want to do it between you know two Buicks. So <laughs> you should have invited her in. Oh my God! Yeah, she probably <laughs> yeah. Me anal. and Billy used to hang out. We used to do our laundry in the projects, like two blocks up. We'd have to go on the projects to do our our laundry. Ninety seventh and what? Ninety seventh between uh, third and Lex. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Over that's there, the yeah, 96 yeah, yeah. Is where, yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. taking oh, really? the train home. From the oh, we had to walk God. to Astor Place, wait seven hours, yep. and take the local. And there, I mean, there was no AC trains back then. Oh. Well, you get the so, express. You can get it on ninety six. Oh, there you go. Ninety six Street. Yeah. Ninety six Street. So walk Union over. Square. Go to the bodega. Mm -hmm. Grab a little treat, and then go mm -hmm. back over to the stoop. That was dangerous over there. I thought you guys lived in the uh, Hell's what is Kitchen. It? No, the uh, Italian Little Italy. No, we lived in Hell's Kitchen. I'm Billy moved to Hell's Kitchen. Joe DeRosa moved in with Billy. And I bought an apartment on 47th in Hell's Kitchen. Uh-huh. And uh, we lived there for, I lived there for a long time. Was it gay then? 
Because it's super no, gay. No, it's now. newly gay. What do you think I moved there for? <laughs> <laughs> my my wife was hot. His uh, yeah, Hell's Kitchen yeah. is pretty newly gay. I mean, it's it's not not anymore. Yeah. It, now it's families. It's like oh you know, really? It into, they no, call it's it still hell. pretty gay. Hell's, Hell's Kitchen. They call it Hellsy yeah. now. Yeah. What? They, yeah, it's Hellsy. Is that where you live? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I see gay flag, gay There's bars. Like gay bars. Yeah, it's, oh, it's still gay. Okay. Oh, it's gay. I had a gay club across the street from my house, which I I had a I had a joke in my act about. Where I said, uh, if that was a regular guy banging every night, Tony, you fucking get the fuck in the cart. The gay club is so quiet, you don't even hear him. Every once in a while, the door opens like, you spin me right in the middle of the show. And that's it. <laughs> I remember that bit. I remember seeing you like back in the day. Oh I felt God. bad, me and Patrice yeah. one night. Patrice would drop me off uh, some nights, and we pulled up one day, and uh, in front of us, we felt so bad about this, but in front of us, there was uh, a car just rocking. Just someone was fucking in this Toyota. The windows were steamed and it was rocking. And then this old guy just stuck his head up and looked around. And then this young little twink was like looking around. We're like, oh shit. Damn. So we called the cops. <gasps> what? Oh, poor Not Rick because Roman. they were gay. We, we didn't realize, like, we felt bad. We just called the cops to fuck with them as a joke, just uh. to fuck with them. So the cops, just the cops pulled up. Like somebody's having sex and blah blah blah, and they pull up and they walk up to the thing and they knock on the window, and he looks in and he just spins around and went back into his car. <laughs> and <I've, laughs> but then they got out. We were like, ah, this old dude was getting some nice dick. Yeah. And we fucked it up. We were like, we felt we almost talked to him like, hey man, we're sorry, we did it. Your cock blocks. Yeah, we cock. We literally cock blocked yeah. these two guys. I felt bad, but fuck you, dude. Fucking. It was a different time. Go get a room. Right. I Go don't know. fuck in the bathroom. A good car bang every yeah. now and then is fun. That's my favorite line. When you ever see Meet Wally Sparks with Rodney Dangerfield? He walks up to a, a couple making out on the dance floor. He goes, you two should get a, go, you two should go get a room. Then he walks up to a, a fat couple dancing. He goes, you two should go get a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great joke. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah, that, but that street I lived on had a crazy house across the street from it. And they would... The, they would uh, now those guys are all on the street, but they would walk around the street all day long just screaming shit. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I confronted a guy one time because he was just like screaming at me, mm. and I was with my wife, and he's like, "What the fuck are you?" Gonna? I'm like, "Shut the fuck up!" Then I called the place. I go, "You guys out front," and they were like, "Hello." <laughs> and I'm like the guy. They're like, "Hello." They were just fucking with me. Yeah. It's like you know, he's probably getting six bucks an hour. He's like, "Hello." <laughs> And I'm like, there's one of your people out front <laughs> fucking. And I started to get, you know, crazy. I was like, dude, fucking with citizens. I used the word citizens of New York. <laughs> what does that mean? And all of a sudden he went, hello. <laughs> I was like, I don't, it might have been one of the guys, the crazy motherfuckers yeah. answered the phone. Uh, but if it was the staff, at bravo. what point were you laughing at that? <laughs> at the fourth hello, <laughs> I was like, this motherfucker. But I was red. enraged and laughing at the Steam. same time because now he, I didn't want to give up. Right. I wanted to get him. To he was like, H and then he went, hold on. And he just never came back. Oh my so I God. called again and he went, hello. Oh, dude, I, I, I had a, I missed a, I, years ago, I did a thing. I booked a flight on something called Cheapo Air. I know Cheapo Air. Cheapo Air. It used to be, so it's not Expedia. It's cheaper because you'd get Connect flights sometimes, but they'd be different airlines. So if you miss the flight, you're rolling the dice. Neither airline's accountable. You're just right. fucked. So I, I remember doing a festival in Grand Rapids. I missed a Connect flight. I'm freaking out. I go to complain, uh, I think it was Delta, and they're like, we're not doing anything. And the guy just keeps, he's just laughing at me because he's like, cheapo air. Yeah. And I was like, fuck you, dude. I was so mad. And he just kept looking at me like this, like, yeah. and him just holding that laugh, I saw, I, I got me. Yeah. I was at like 583 bucks, and I was still fucking, I was like, nah, it's pretty funny. It just like if, if I take myself out of this, it is pretty funny cheapo how, air, how yeah. dumb I am. Yeah, right. cheapo air. Jesus Christ. They got you there, but it is funny when they get you at the airports. Those oh, people no. are professional at fuck making you snap and then <laughs> stepping back. I mean, they have no poker face. They'll better than wives. You. Because yeah. they have all the <laughs> better chips. Than wives. They're holding all the chips. There's nothing yes. you can do. Yeah. They literally read like TSA yeah. and then they'll have you arrested. There's federal shit behind no, what they, them. No, they have to do is get you to swear That's or threaten it. them. Once they get you to swear, once, doesn't once, take much. Once they get you to go, you fucking bitch. Yeah, I'll fucking murder. You're done. You're never that's all they're that by a bunch of people. Yeah, that's all their goal is is to go and they, and they do with it's all tone. It's like you. It's like your wife or your. My, can I you help know, you? Excuse I'm so me. Sorry. Oh no, that's fine. You can do that. 
Is it fine? You fucking. Do you know what it? It's the head tilt because I do it. The head the tilt. It's the head, I literally do it. Uh huh. No, it's the it's the uh-huh. it's the it's the waiting. Mm-hmm. It's this at the airport where they're like this. One second. Ah, the clicking. One moment, please. And you know she's not doing nothing. nothing. She's hitting buttons. Yeah. I missed my first flight mm-hmm. ever. Yeah. Uh, coming out of Skankfest. Mm. No. I had first class. Coming out of Skankfest, you were the only one. I went to, I went to. I got the bump. I got oh, your you got seat. The bump? I yeah. got your seat then. I I was so mad. Eight juggalos walking right past you. <laughs> right, right. A lot of fingerless gloves on that flight. I get. I, this was just just happened. I just happened. I get. Oh, Skankfest was awesome. Yeah, it was they so do, good. It's, it looked amazing. I heard it, it was, was so. Good. It was the be, one of the best festivals I've ever been to. The way it was the the way it was set up. The rooms were all connected, but it was huge. Outside, in, it was awesome. Hell yeah. um, the clip of you, Norton, Atel, and everyone. I mean, that looks so fun, man. Also, oh, yeah. like, Great. can I just say, though, the most respectful, amazing yeah. comedy fans Great I've crowds. ever the best crowds. fucking the best. seen. I mean, I went to that show that you did um, with Tony Woods, Atel. The Legends. The Legends yeah. show. Oh, and fun. Voss, but he hosted. He was not a legend. <laughs> He's just a legend Literally, his own shirt. Yeah. I have that shirt. Not one person filming no. not one they don't not one yeah. and i'm standing they by the bar comedy. and like yeah. that's like you know i see that shit like i can't yeah. turn it off they're the best not fans one ever phone easily the best, best fans they're, ever because they listen to the podcast they they're more sophisticated fans yeah, yeah. Comedy fans have become fucking smarter, core you know? they love they're you. podcast fans Hardcore. too though. right yeah. the podcast from us talking about what we kind of what a good fan is or we, they've kind of all right cool i can they do that it. and those fans are the best I had such a great time. I I I get in. I, get, I the car comes. I get to the airport. I go to the. I have the uh, platinum, so I have the yeah. Centurion Lounge. Whoa! Right, which is the banger. Yeah, never I mean, been they, in there, dude. They got fucking risotto. I mean, uh, then, I mean, it's nuts. You know, we could. Uh, mm, I I don't know about that Centurion Lounge in Vegas. I you was didn't like, like it. Uh, listen, sure, listen, breakfast was not Oof. everything oh. I hoped for and more. I, mean, I feel wow. like we're married right now. I mean, you're I really know. just jumping. I, I mean, know. I'm, I'm trying to build the story. Go ahead. And we're going. Go ahead. I'm going from fucking Skankfest uh. fans, Uber came, Centurion Lab. We're building. Yeah, you, and you the just flight. fucking. You're you missing the flight either. Yeah, you, I'm getting there, oh, okay. but yeah. I had fucking my That's my such, fucking comedy me. wife it is. stepped it in. Is and me. The eggs were a little runny. Oh, fuck yourself. Liz is like warm and worse. Like you got a lot. You got a lot of comedy husbands. Mm-hmm. You got a lot right. of people that annoy I you. Do. A lot oh of us annoy God. you. I um so I get I I'm in the lounge. I take American Airlines, uh, which I hate. I do Delta. Uh, terrible airline. Horrible airline. I'm here's crisis. Why, here's why they're fucking <laughs> terrible. Yeah. On the app, Delta app, it says boarding departure. Yes. Mm-hmm. On American Airline, it says departure land. Oh. Uh, I don't give a fuck when I get there. I want to know when I need to be at that stupid gate to get on before all these fucking savages yeah. start panicking for overhead space. And they close the door on you. And they close the door. I looked at 850. It's That was departure. I show up, 850. Oh! The plane's still there. Oh. And she's going, you know, that and, and get new keyboards, by the way. We don't need the I know, the, right? It's so loud. Click, 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 click. Yeah. Oh, I mean, get an Apple keyboard. You're on a makes, fucking Dell. What is this? 1997? It's a gateway. Yeah. Yeah. They want the click. They like it. They want to go old fashioned. It's, it's annoying. Hear that? <laughs> it is annoying. Oh, it's so annoying. And they're just typing in, this guy is a piece of shit. He's on Facebook. I'm going to make him snap. Yeah. Fuck right. him. Fuck all his family. I hope he never sees his kids again. So that really is annoying. I go. Can the, <laughs> I go. The plane's right there. Can I just? I start. I start begging. You know, you beg first. Yes. Can I please? And then you. Then it goes into lying. I got to meet my my kid. Yes, yes. He got cancer. My, it's a make a wish. He got. He just lost a leg in a bullfight. So, no, sir. I can't. No. Fifteen minutes. They say I mean, it's right there. It's to just open the door. I'm here. They love it. They live goes, for this. She looks up. She goes. I already gave your seat away. Oh, my, no! uh, my stomach. First class seat. So, oh, you know, Dave Smith sitting there like, Woo. <laughs> <laughs> American, like, yeah. <laughs> so, he would. So, and, and, and then as I, I get more, she starts controlling the situation more. She oh, knows boy. the powers in her. And she goes back to the keyboard. She starts, you know, typing and looking up every once in a while. Sir, I can try. I can try 
to get you on the next flight because mm-hmm. now I'm pissing her off. Yeah. Now, so I'm like, oh, so I gotta go. I gotta swallow it. I gotta yeah. swallow it mm. or attack her face. Yeah. yeah. Bite, bite her <laughs> yeah. Achilles off. Right. I gotta, I gotta really maim her so she'll never forget. This. You either have to hit her with a smile or you have to say, "Is your mother a piece of shit too?" Yeah. Ooh. You have to pick one. Yeah. You, you have to pick one. Yeah. You have to do that. So. Is she white? No, she's. Uh, you hope for white, just so there's not an extra weirdness. You don't want there to no, be like a no. racial barrier. You heard Mark here first. American wow. Airlines only hire white people. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and yes. you get twenty percent off Yeezys want right now at Adidas.com. I'm just saying, if, if she's black and you're yelling at her, it's a different look. Yeah. What are you gonna I mean, say about Bobby. Jews? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know what she was. I think she was Asian, if that matters. All right, Asian's fine. Uh, you can yell at an Asian. Look Nobody cares about that. He's trying to fucking muffle you out right now with the drink. <laughs> to save you know podcast. what I'm talking about also that glass is still up at the airport so you have to do the fucking thing where you yell through the uh, the hole there yeah. what airport are you at what San airport Francisco? Yeah. I fly I out of Newark talking. I just tried to no, say there's yes no, there's, it's there's a little no, dicey that's, that's gone it's bulletproof glass it's like, come on catch all up alright alright yeah, she, and then she puts she me on the she puts you. me on the wrong flight she puts me on a flight that left Sunday thank you so she fucked me totally she fucked up I was no she fucked me again cause I was being an asshole thank you she, she put me on a wrong flight, so I called Dawn panicking. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I got to go. I'm going to Austin. I'm going to do uh, Segura oh. and Rogan. Oh, you can't so, miss that. So I'm like, I got to go. I got to get there. I'm such a, I'm a lied about my kid having fucking, you know, And then you say, I'm pops. on Rogan. She's like, I'll get you, you on the next flight. You should have said that. I know. That's a bigger deal. <laughs> Rogan. She's never heard of your son. <laughs> <laughs> Will you talk about the benefactors of ginseng? Please bring that up. <laughs> I love elk. And aliens. Dude, I, I had the same thing happen to me on American Airlines. They fucked me. It was when I was coming from Rogan yeah. and I was flying to, Ver- I had to go from uh, Austin to Vermont. So we had to connect in Ugh, Philly. And I know one. I'm not going to make the connection. Like it, the, the flight's on the ground too long. So I sprint to the gate. And as I get there, the woman's shutting the door. And oh. I, just, I scream, please don't shut it. And I, she looks at me and goes, I'm sorry. And shuts the fucking door. <laughs> oh. I was like, why? Oh. No. Oh, that, that makes me evil. feel said, so good. I said, evil. please. Oh, and she goes, God. I can't do anything. Now that the door is shut, I was like, you shut it. <laughs> yeah. You oh. fucked me. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, they're bad I missed people. I the gig. I they're bad the gig. people. Wow. They're bad people. I lost yeah. my No, that shit. lady is a saint. Thank God. Thank God. The <laughs> that lady is a fucking no one's saint. Filming. I was looking around. I go, no. Yeah. I was just screaming in the airport. They were like, this is a good. It was literally the day my special came out. No. And I was like, I'm about to go viral. Uh, welcome to for, show business. For, for getting fucking, arrested. For airport behavior. Yeah. Uh, oh, I put my foot in the door once, and the lady looked me in the eye, and she goes, if you don't move your foot, I'm calling security. And I was like, come on. It's not closed. Yeah, she she got me. What is the clothes thing? I, it's just a made up. What is it? Room. Is it Minecraft know. and it's like another universe happens? Why yeah. is it with the clothes fucking thing? It's Once a, they close the door, like shit. what is that? Is it no? But it's, it's before that. Be. Is, is, he, is, he, is he the resident genius? Yes. Why <laughs> he does look like it. Right? <laughs> it he looks like the, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the guy in the closet in Real Genius. Pull him up too while you're at it. Let's get that visual. God oh damn. God. Salamanca. Yeah. <laughs> now you're frazzled him. You can't, you can't Google. We, I'm, I'm going to get you guys the new shirt I have. Fuck the check spot. Yeah. Oh, got, I you love it. Send that to we got to get, we gotta get rid country. of the fucking check spot. So people, if you don't know years. what the check spot is, it's when they drop checks while a comic is on stage. Not a comic. The comic. The yeah. headline. They paid for a... There he is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I always wanted that guy. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fun, dude. They, 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 the guy they hot, they flew there. Yeah. They flew there. They're paying all the money. The people came to see. That's a great point. They, they came to see. What you're gonna do? You're gonna give the best spot of the night to the local middle guy. Hundred percent. Who does twenty five minutes? God bless you. I love I love feature acts. I know it's a feature, not a middle. You're welcome, Rich Voss. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but they you get the best spot. So the guy goes up, warms him up for 10, 15 yep. minutes. Then you're gonna give that guy the primo fucking spot. They're and he's too, selling merch. They're not too yeah. drunk. I hate that. They're, they're not too drunk. They're focused, they're ready to laugh, and you're gonna put him up for twenty five minutes. Right. And then bring me up at the end. Right, and you're right when I'm gonna 15 minutes before the movie's gonna end. Everything builds up. It's I a, got him. You're gonna send a fucking team, a horde of waitresses yep. that could give a fuck about me. Yep. Or stand up. They're just trying to get to a cigarette or a joint or a drink somewhere. They want the fuck out, which I understand. God bless them. It's a fuck. Drunk. God yeah. bless them all, because yeah. it's a fucked up job to do. Yeah. 
they're gonna just and pass the good the ones are like on another level. Like if you're a quiet wait staff, like we fucking notice it and we appreciate yeah, it. hundred percent. That's a tough gig. I had a girl give me the finger at uh, CB Live. She walk first of all. She walks out in the front. Okay, Whoa. now you said it here. I'm texting Brandon. I'm telling him. I'm what telling happened? him. Walks out in the front. I got video of it. You, I got the video. Yeah, Give me the video. The video. Send me the video. You want me to send you the video? Send me the video. Send I'm sending it to Peters. Peters. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up the video and you can send it to yourself. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know how that. I don't works. know what that meant. I don't understand what did that what you mean? Just said. What are you Drop. talking you about? I'm gonna give him my phone. Oh, okay. oh. So he can do it. Because oh, I don't want to go. What is it? The Brendan right. 765. Can you also send I'm it to me so I can send it to the club? <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, but this is my question with the check spot that I don't understand. You have one show on a Saturday night. Yes. The next show is an hour later, half an hour later. What the fuck are they dropping the checks in the middle of your shit I, for? Like, they well, don't have anything do else it. after. The seller doesn't no, do it. And you, you guys have like to. 10 shows. Seriously, I know. like, there's no point. I don't understand the logic of it. I asked a, a, a club owner, because I said, hey, can we do no check spots? He goes, what do you want? What do you want this week? I'm a, I'm a big fan. We sold some tickets. What do you want? I go, no check spot. He goes, we can't do that. He's like, we'll give you champagne in the green but room, whatever. Why? Champagne. I'll tell you why. Yeah. He goes, A, we don't have a bouncer here. So people could just run out. I'm like, nobody's going to run out. Secondly, he goes, it fucks over the wait staff because people tip less no, they don't. after, which no, I'm they like, don't. that's bullshit. That's bullshit. And then at the end, he goes, we just don't want to do it. We know how to do it this way. We I don't want to change. Want me to drop it to you? Let me add. Okay. It's all about change. They're just used to doing it a certain way. They don't want to change. That's it. That's all it is. It's laziness, too. Also, hire a fucking bouncer. Well, like, that too. Are you kidding me? You don't want to just put the I fucking say, bartender at the door. You need a bouncer. Yeah. And be like, you Fred, Here's how you solve the fucking problem. No, you need problem. a bouncer at a comedy club. Here's how you, you do. You do. Yeah. But here's how you solve the problem. Ready? You take the, uh, the host. He goes up and does 10. Then you take the feature. God bless you. Go up and do 20. You do 20. And then I go up. And I do my time. I do an hour. As a headliner, I believe you should be doing an hour. Yeah. You do 45 minutes. Okay, God bless you. I understand once in a while. But if, you, if you're doing 35, 40, you're not a headliner. Right, 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 right. Okay, but go up and do your hour. And then have the MC go back up and do 10 more minutes. Number one, it gives yeah. him. Uh, uh. It, it, it makes him a better comic. He's going to go up. Do all your dumb ads. They already know who he is. He's the host. He's the guy. Let him go up. Fuck with the people. Hey, you had a good time. How about that thing? Blah, blah, blah. Make oh, sure you tip your wages. Good. Let him go up. You, it's, it's, you're adding. So the time that they're still paying the checks that I'm not up there, they're, they're still just entertained. getting entertained. You're dropping all your bullshit. Instead of, instead of letting them know that a better comic's coming next week right. in front of me. Right? right? Hey, you guys, Damon Wayne's coming next week. Oh, good. Yeah. Fuck, why don't you just give them their receipts now so they can uh, <laughs> have them do it that way? They're, they're bullshit. These clubs, they're lazy. they don't want to change. That's it. That's they what don't want to fucking change. They're, they're like an Applebee's. They right. just fucking churn out riblets and this, and this is how we do it. And fuck them. Yeah. I'm done with it's, the, the it's check so spot. It's so unnecessary. And it's, <laughs> I love all the waitresses. God bless them. Sure. <laughs> but then, I'm not a fucking monkey. You know, yeah. I, 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 this girl's funny though. She did give me the finger, and it was kind of funny. Do we have it? It made me laugh. I can't wait to send this video. But she, here's what bo Phoenix. the finger didn't bother me. The finger made me laugh. Actually, it, <laughs> it really did kind of arouse me. <laughs> Watch this confidence. She's in the not even a duck. The Watch chick, this. the blonde. Where is this from? How long ago? This is a week, two weeks ago. The blonde. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's look it's the worst. It's the worst. She don't even bend down. She don't give a fuck. I mean, stop. Pause that for oh, a second. She's having a blast doing this. That look at. She walked in front of everybody. Yeah. And stood there like not even quickly. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, wow. Go ahead. Sorry. She's not sneaky at all. She's like, fuck you, fat boy. Keep going. Look at. She don't uh, give. She don't give a fuck. She Boom. Boom. Go fuck yourself. See, this is a problem. Send that to me. Wait, stop. Send that Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, Here's her. my response. Listen to my response. She interrupted my show and she gives me the finger. Yeah, on her side, you fucking dirty Americans. That's why this country's fucked. You see a vagina. Let's get behind it. Also, why She's does wrong. it look like I'm she right. just came from 7-Eleven in that outfit? <laughs> uh, where is this? Phoenix. Oh, nice. Well... The problem is a lot of really people hire people who want to be comics. And so that to her, that was like her moment. 
I mean, look, she, I, I don't, I don't, I, she made it funny and all that. It's not, I, I don't give a fuck about that. And it, and it, it, it relieved the pressure of it. Mm-hmm. She was uh, actually pretty cool. But when you, when you don't teach your staff to even duck down, serve from behind, from behind, yes. you don't walk out. You're literally taking them. Do you understand how the joke works? I know. I got to fucking get them into the story, the setup. And they're going, wait, who had the Mai Tai? Yeah, Hold on, they- wait, you only put two dollars. That's it's comedy poison. Unbelievable. Yeah. And no other fucking thing do they do this in, by the way. And here's the nail in the coffin. Yeah, they don't do that at Hamilton, you know. <laughs> here's the nail in the coffin. I did a show. I did a gig once. I did an album there at this club. I'm not going to say the club. Say and it. They go, What's it rhyme with? Say it. Comedy say it. on hate. <laughs> so, and it's yeah. a great club. I already knew it. This is your first album. <laughs> yeah, first album and second album. So then they go, all right, since you're doing a taping, we won't do checks. We'll do them after. So they can do it. That's the worst part is you basically told me you can do it. Anybody and you can do, do it. it. Don't tell me you can't do it. I know. It's not- if the comedy Dude, seller the, does it, the seller uh, 17 shows a night. Oh, my God. Sold yes. out. I taped a special with the seller. They didn't serve we drinks. We didn't serve drinks. They, what? Every, yeah. Everyone ordered drinks at the beginning. Two drinks. Because oh, it was a, a two drink idea. minimum. Sitting, everyone orders drinks yeah. at the beginning. So there wouldn't be wait staff in yeah, the fucking you know why? shot. Yeah. They're fucking smart. And they know the show is the most important part. If you distract these people at all, it's going to fuck up the show. Of course. If you if you let them watch the movie, they'll enjoy it. Yeah. You know what's great for comedy? Reminding yourself of your finances. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what I want to think about right now. Yeah, or having some have fucking uh, uh, a Phoenix 7 walk in the front row while you're with your a Phoenix 2 wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you imagine you're at Avatar 2, someone comes in, who got the Mai Tai? Screwdriver? Exactly. Old fashioned? We didn't leave tip on it, so if you want to leave good tip, shut up, move right, it. Right, right. What, uh, give, do you have other peeves? Other things that are bothering you, either of you? Yeah, I got, you. I got a real Me? problem. I'm yeah, the that, peeve. That's a good that peeve. Was my You're peeve. a peeve. Why is he a peeve? Sam, why is he a peeve? Why is he my pet peeve? <laughs> I just want to hear you go off. I li- yeah, it literally turns me on. Do it, hoops. Uh, Come on. <laughs> it's Come on. Every sh- fucking day. He does. Bobby, I. S- what do I do? I want to get you. I, a little, I don't understand what I, I want to get you a little backpack and, a, and one of those boom boxes. With the hoops, with the whole it's outfit. very chola it's today. Fucking, yeah. I know. What, I know. What, I what do I like Rosie Sorry. Perez? I, just, I, just, <laughs> I don't understand what I did. Stupid. I don't understand. We'll do Phil Hanley next. Sam, I'm telling you, Bobby, this is literally every day of my fucking life. Liz, you mad? Liz, <laughs> you mad? Liz, you mad? What's well, Liz? Ask please, she's mad Liz, she, and it not makes her more P-L-E-A-S-E. mad. P L E A S E. He texts me P L S, which also fucking infuriates ah. me. Just fucking write, please, motherfucker. Write, please. Yeah, Liz. Why you? Liz, please. Liz, Liz you mad? You mad? Why you mad? Why do you have anger issues? You mad? You're my fucking anger issue, motherfucker. Like every fucking <laughs> every day. Every, he's needy. You, Sam's you, really, really needy. You do needy. the K as well. He's needy. You don't say okay. You write K. Oh, you're like, Come on, man. Give me an O. You have an really? iPhone. Really. Yeah, the K is oh. Can I ask you, K is, is it, tough. Are you mad? Because it does seem like you're. <laughs> Shut the fuck I can't up, can't tell Sammy. if you're mad. Shut up. Or not. I love I you. Know. Shut the fuck up. The uh, you made me come to Midtown. That also pissed uh, me off, but whatever. Yeah. We're getting you day drunk. It's fun. There you go. After right. this one, she's going to be in a better mood. I was, you got that I right. She's, yeah. a, she's an yeah. espresso martini drinker. I do this like is, the espresso martinis. Is, for Liz, it was either Aperol Spritz. Dirty martini or espresso martini. I know How good was the espresso martini at Arturo's? Arturo's cold oven pizza. Delicious. Great spot, right? You've been there. Have you been there? I've never been. <gasps> wow. Bobby. Oh, I should say this. I've never been invited. Ooh. Oh, wow. you were on the road. My pet peeve. We'll you go were on the road. Just salad road. next week. Yeah. We'll bring you. It'll be it'll be killer. Uh, I always get invited to. You guys sneak away at night too. It bugs me. We do. Yeah, you and fucking Liz and fucking Thin Phil. <laughs> 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 fucking. He is the. Uh, yeah, you he sneak away. Where's Liz? Thin. I don't know. She's gone. And you guys are at some fucking trendy spot, sucking down something, sticking something in your face. Yeah. And Phil's talking about his dumb set or some watch he got, and <laughs> you're pretending to be interested and pretend to be his friend. I don't pretend <laughs> to be interested in the watch. Stories. Nobody does. No, I've no. never pretended to be. In, I'm not interested in watches at all. Yeah. Do you know if Phil dies, I get two of his Rolexes? Which Wait, one? when Damn. Phil dies. Yeah. He told me, I can't remember, because it means nothing to me, but I get I'll two. I'll kill him if you give me one. <laughs> Okay. All right, because I have no idea which I want he the told me. Or the thunder, whatever the fuck it is. The, 
Are you know. a watch person? Yeah. Yeah. Show them, Bobby. Holy oh, shit. Look at that. That. Show them, Bobby. It's beautiful. Liz, 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 and Phil actually came with me to get this. We did. What? Yeah, You're just did. trashing us. No, us. What am I going to I'm trying to be funny. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to tell you how much I love I'm the guy a, and how much we have big, in common. I'm not a big, <laughs> I'm not a big watch guy. Oh, I'm a huge worried, watch guy. Oh, I th- <laughs> <laughs> That's a great watch. That's a I'm not, but I'm Classic. worried. I, I just $9. think like walking around with a Rolex, you're like a fucking mark. Well, you're a mark if you don't, don't know what the fuck you're doing. No, Phil Hanley's a mark. <laughs> you know what I mean, Phil Hanley. Phil is a mark. Yeah, what's he get? He's get, he'll bore somebody to death, though. <laughs> Dumb, One of us, beard. we should jump him in a ski mask. <gasps> uh, I'll do it. And take I'll his watch it. and then give it back to him. Like, later. Let's do it. He show up to it? Phil, he's like, I should That's bogey. <laughs> <laughs> no, we if we if we corner Phil yeah. and we're just like, give me your, just the watch. I don't care about your phone. Just your watch. He's like, ah. Then but let me do it. the talking. Your voice is not threatening. I know. Because you, you sound like a kid trying to be, let me get the watch. <laughs> let me get it over, Dude, mister. Give me your back. fucking watch, you That's cocksucker. Good. I'll fucking murder you right now. Yes. Now, you fucking thin Canadian piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you hit him in the face. Apologize. <laughs> Apologize. Apologize. It worked. It worked. Here's your wallet back. Dude. I would, I would be nice immediately. If you went on for two more seconds, he'd be sucking your dick. I mean, he... <laughs> what a... Well, that was very... That was fucking better than Carrot Top. He threw a prop right at me. <laughs> Genius. Let's do that to Phil. Yeah, watch Phil Hanley's special, Ooh La La. Ooh watch, la, la. Also yeah. watch Ron on Hirschberg's new special. Oh, and Ari's is out. Yeah. And Ari's special, yeah. Jew. I mean, but if you want to laugh, watch Killbox <laughs> on LouisCK.com. But if you really want to laugh, yeah. LouisCK.com, yeah. Bobby Kelly. His new special. Yeah, watch that. Oh, I've seen it. You got to pay for it, and uh, that's what why it? it's like worth money. Ten dollars? It's nine something. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I yeah. bought it. You bought Did it. You? I bought I'll buy it. it. I'm gonna buy it. I bought it. Buy it. I'm now here's buy the thing. It. I've bought and bought and no. I've bought comedians. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Who have you bought? <laughs> the guy in the closet. Case I bought Louis. <laughs> I told you. The fucking super nerd in the closet. <laughs> Save the day again. Um. I, I bought I, I bought specials. I, anytime it comes out, I just bought uh, Gillian Keeves. Oh yeah, I gotta buy that. I, I bought that. So good. I buy it and we I try. Gillis I watch it on the road or the plane God. just to support. Yeah, you know what I mean, you got to. So you can I, still watch comedy. A lot of people, a lot of comics are like, I can't watch anything I, comedy. I I actually was becoming, I think uh, maybe six years ago, that bitter old fucking. What the fuck are they? But now that I watch comics, I I like comedy again. I actually. I, I watch comics and I'm like, wow, it's funny. Like, um, um, what's his name? Mateo. Killer. That asshole, man. Dude, he makes me, his jokes are fucking, he's so good. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny because I remember him when he first came in. Right. And it was all right. He was and I, You know what I mean? So that's why I was kind of like, what the fuck? These young guys coming right. up, even you guys. I watch your stuff and I'm like, this is a fucking great joke. Like, I laugh out loud. I try to comment on it too, but you, I enjoy you. You notice, right? Like how people get funnier. It, it's it's wild. It's crazy, right? Yeah, you guys all got funnier. Uh, like, Joe List. Oh, uh, he's a beast. Is so f- funny it's right like now. Night and day shit. It's like yeah. It's well, like, it takes what? time. You know, it's like yeah. you, you find yourself. You get comfortable. I mean, yeah. it, it's a process. But it's like know? I came out like when I first saw all you guys. I was here mm-hmm. doing my thing, and then I was like, eh. And then I came <laughs> out of it, and all of a sudden I'm looking at your comedy. On Instagram, like the bits, and I'm like, that's fucking great. Mm. So it's a weird feeling for me to be to see the. I never, I didn't see the transition. It just happened yeah. over time, right? So yeah. now you guys are all killers, right? Which is, it's, yeah, it sometimes you, feels Thanks. like, like even. I mean, I see these idiots every fucking day, <laughs> and it feels like all of a sudden today I'll be like, oh shit! Like when the fuck did this person get funny yeah. yeah no it's it's you know a it's like all of a sudden like the penny drops and you're yeah. like what the fuck it's you gotta so figure crazy. it out it that's why I'm, I'm so it's so to come back to i gotta come back to the cellar i gotta yeah. start doing you gotta spots come back again. gotta come back yeah. I, but i'm nervous about spots yeah. like, you'll bomb spots. i love it no, it'll be great, great. It's i know but head. i'm i'm so it's like, just good to be around that energy that yeah. comic energy like you just see people you're like even when you're not on stage being around comedians is when i i was out and i did the rogan that he was like i'm doing the vulcan tonight you want to go on i was like yeah but i was so nervous because i haven't really done spots and they had all these young bucks in front of me and they're going up and they murdered they're great f- hilarious and then uh, i went up and i was like <sighs> you know that that thing yeah, yeah well you know where you go to the cellar and norton's on or someone's on and they're crushing and and like what do you want me to say you know like, ah. and then they're like you guys you got to you know slide on the stage and you're up there <laughs> and you're like fuck it you can touch the ceiling and 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 then you get well, as soon as you get that laugh you're good but i i on the on that stage with them i i was killing and I was like, oh my God, it's like, it takes over. 
Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. And then I was off and I was so jacked. Oh, yeah. I got to I got to go back to spots. Yeah, comedy. I got to come back. It's, it makes it, it's good it's a good skill set to have. Like you kind of get too caught up in the hour structure cuz you're writing a new hour and the bits get longer and it becomes harder and harder yep. to do 15, but it's it's a necessary skill set. It's is. like auditioning to acting, to getting the gig to to booking the gig. Ooh. Auditioning is a way different animal than actually That's good. acting. So when you true. get the gig, it's a whole different thing you got to do. Right. But when you audition for it, you got to go in that room you got to look you got to no, look around look at the people in the eyes you have to kind of absorb their energy mm -hmm. take away their power kind of absorb it and be like oh this is my time right now and who am I I'm working with you hey what's up I'm Rob what's your name great uh, I'm going to do this okay I'm going to over here where's the camera take over yeah. there's like a whole thing you have to do and then when you're ready go I'm ready can we start great you know do your thing yeah. and then do and then just you and that person until you're done and then you go great that's it like if you don't do that, if you walk in, and that's the way spots. Yeah. Like it's so much pressure, and it yeah. means nothing only to you. Right. No one else. Right. Well, it's like it sucks when you're doing a set and you just see someone you respect walk in the room and you're ah. like, "Fuck, I'm working on shit, dude." I, know. I hate when comics come in and watch when I'm doing new jokes. That feels like when comics watch the most. How about when like, they when they leave? Oh, I, they I walk had De Niro out. walk out. What? What? Oh, my <laughs> what happened? I almost said something. I went, Bob. <laughs> this next one's good. Oh, what, no. what, what happened? And I had Ricky Gervais. I bombed in front of Louie and Ricky. Oh. And they were laughing. Bobby the bombs, bombs are the best. What oh, happened? Bobby <laughs> bombs are the best bombs. There's nothing ever. better than seeing Lee. When she knows I'm gonna, she she has some sick sense when I'm gonna bomb. Yeah, and she I, she'll stand under the light, and with just, a, right at the village underground. There's one light, so if you look over, you'll just see her like this, waiting, uh, waiting, and just watching you just eat your own uh, shit for like 15. And minutes. I got energy, so I'm like, uh, 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 trying so hard, and there's nothing. I would, dude. I was, I was, uh, I was in the, uh, I was. Fuck. It was after your bachelor party uh, when we did the episode. And we got shit faced. Yeah. I can't wait and to we go were... to the wedding, man. It's gonna be, oh, awesome. hey. it's gonna be awesome. We'd love to have you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't get fucking in. There. Oh, wait. I said it to Phil. That's, that's sorry. Worst, that's his worst. To fuck. Did you do Rogan? No, not yet. So we do. We do. <laughs> we do Norman's. Uh, we do get wasted on the episode here. We go to a sta old homestead. We get. Oh, yeah. We get drunker there. Then Mark and I end up at the cellar. I'm on stage struggling to get through the set and i just see liz and rachel feinstein in the doorway oh doing, my God. the entire set they're doing this <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to keep a straight face like i'm struggling enough just to enunciate words i think he winked at drunk. us at one point yeah i did I, I got a huge laugh and I, just, I looked at him i go <laughs> That's but a drunk we literally were like <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst it was, we were assholes the the, worst. He was why did de niro walk out oh dude I just have no charisma. <laughs> like, I don't have it. You know what I mean? Like, is that the number one guy that it, like it, like that's like who else would hurt that much walking out? I don't know. It that's hurt. Like, that's like top of the fucking. Yeah. He was in the back. Mountain. That's happened to me a bunch of times though. I mean, the Conan O'Brien people were doing a a, a showcase. Yeah. Uh, at stand up New York, and as soon as I went on, they walked out. Wow. I what? fell to the floor. What? And I just started talking to the ceiling. I was just like, I worked all week on this set. As yeah. they're walking out, because they told me that I might get a chance to get on Conan O'Brien. And as I'm on, this is, I go, God, you hate me, and I hate you, God. Aww. And I hate you back. Wow. I was just talking Jesus. to God. Like, and they were like, that's Jessica Kirsten's bit, what you're doing right there. <laughs> that's, that's new heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's happened. But De Niro Damn. was bad. He came in to see people for that movie. Oh, the movie, yeah, with Kirsten. And um, he came in and he was watching everybody. Wow. And then and they go, hey, give it up for Robert Kelly. And somebody, I, it just all of a sudden I saw a couple seconds, maybe 30, 40, maybe a minute or so. Mm. Hey, what's going on? Blah, blah. And you just, I just, I had nothing that caught his eye. Oh, you know man. What I mean? Well, if it helps, the movie sucked. <laughs> Is this Cape Fear? <laughs> the greatest, this, this is what he greatest laugh ever. Damn. I love when they spoof this in the Simpsons. He was a very sweet yeah. man. Yeah. I got none of that. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought of. I was going to get Cape Fear De Niro. Right. No, I didn't. I got the one where he was retarded in the chair <laughs> with Robin, Robin Williams. Awakenings. Well, I got Awakenings, be, Robin Williams. He could be, I think, a great guy, but I also read, like, dude, I've read he was such a dick to Sybil Shepard on Taxi Driver. Mm. Like, such a fucking Ooh. dick. De Niro. Really? Oh, Taxi. I thought he was probably. I meta. was thinking of the show Taxi. I was like, <laughs> who is he, Taxi? De Niro, famously. <laughs> well, he only likes black women. 
to be honest. <laughs> well, I think he just didn't think she could act. Don't oh, we all? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, he, well, dude, it's funny that. He's a huge Jim Norton fan. I know. Oh. De Niro is? De Niro. Oh, he was in the opening He's of the Norton's special. That's right. Can you pull He's that up? He's a huge Norton fan, and that's yeah. from that movie. But he was. Bobby, he was so sweet. He was like the nicest. Was man. he really? Well, I heard he was very bad. Sweet. He was uh, really. He, he wanted. I, I'm. I'm blaming myself. I'm blaming the no, lack of it. Don't blame. Don't blame yourself, honey. If I walk, if you walk on stage, if if you're there as De Niro looking for comedians for a movie about comedy, and a guy gets on stage with me, hey, what's up, blah blah, and it does nothing for your palate, like it, you literally go, you ready? Yeah, hey, I'm ready. And you walk out. You don't got it. Mm. Yeah? I yeah. would agree. Bobby, you have Th- it. Thank you. <laughs> you have it, buddy. You, you have, have it, Bobby. So Bobby. Knows you have it. You have it. Yeah, well. Type 2 diabetes I'm... is it we're talking <laughs> no, about. But, uh... Not anymore. <laughs> no. No, but, dude, I'm so gone. happy you're healthy. It, like, you, it makes me happy. Oh, thanks, real. man. Yeah. Uh, you'll be yeah. back. Shut uh, the fuck up. <laughs> Can we get Bobby an actual cheese wanna, cup with cheese in it? I want to get on this wall. <laughs> no. I have a goal no, now. We're not putting you on. No. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, De, uh, DeRosa was here, not bragging. But we had him on, and he was he was saying, like, I don't do spots in the city. It's worthless. I go he on the road. Do I do comedy. comedy. Shut up. I know. That's no, wait, what wait, I say, said. It's not that he doesn't do spots. He can't, he can't get spots. Oh, well, right? yeah. Right. I think, yeah, I think he said that. Yeah, he has liver spots <laughs> at this point. He's, such He's a like, I've been 8.15 with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> right. And uh, yeah. 10.25 with a turkey club. <laughs> yeah, I'd <laughs> rather be here than slinging sandwiches. You can't find it? I guess. Uh, bummer. Uh, ah. what, what is on Netflix? It's Norton's... Uh, oh, the movie? Yeah, he... I heard uh, that movie was terrible, though. Maybe he could have stood to watch saying. a little more Bobby. It's never too early to play holiday music, and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts. Whether it's just for a friend... Or the friends of your pants. It's your penis and your balls. You can make this season to be jolly with Manscaped. Their platinum package has it all. The Lawnmower 4.0 body trimmer and weed whacker nose and hair ear hair trimmer. No, the Lawnmower 4.0 body trimmer and the weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer. They feature proprietary advanced skin safe technology to protect your delicate parts and your holes. Both are waterproof so you can shave in the shower. Sounds classy to me. Don't forget to apply to the, for their aluminum-free, ultra-premium deodorant for that cologne-quality scent on the go. Manscaped is even throwing in two free gifts. The Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. The Platinum Package 4.0 covers all your bases from head to toe. Tell them how to do it, Mark. Here's what you got to do. Get 20% off and free shipping with code DRUNK at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code DRUNK. Manscaped, get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. Hey, hey, folks. When you want a smooth high that you know is made right here in the U.S. of A, look no further than Ounce of Hope. Based out of Memphis, Tennessee, uh, Ounce of Hope is your one-stop shop for Delta 8, Delta 9, and CBD edibles, oils, and more. I use this stuff every night literally to go to sleep. I love it. It's not too high. You don't want to go into some edible coma where you can't see straight you don't know when you're gonna die and you're panicking anytime the phone rings this stuff is just the right amount it's just perfect it helps me sleep better harnessing the power of aquaponics ounce of hope is the farm to table brand for getting high aquaponics combines fish and plant farming so all the nutrients released by the fish make an extremely healthy plant oh you're getting high thanks to fish shit visit ounceofhope.com and use drunk for 20% off your first order. That's O U N C E O F H O P E dot com with promo code drunk and start saving on the best Delta 8 and Delta 9 products. Here it is. Get on it. God bless America and God bless sheath underwear. Let's show Mark. We're both wearing them right now. Look at that. Yeah, sheath underwear keeps your balls off your leg, which, I mean, I love that little pouch right there. Oh, yeah. The idea for sheath came from its founder, U.S. Army soldier Robert Patton during his second tour in Iraq. This guy is a fucking veteran, dude. Oh, yeah. It worked for him. It's going to work for you. I wear sheath underwear, and they're great. I wear them all. It's like my favorite. You have your favorite pairs in the drawer. Yep. I have a few crappy Swiss cheese undies, and then I get my sheath ones that don't break down. They're good. Support the show. Support this awesome veteran-owned company. 
Mark, tell them how to do it. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use promo code DRUNK to get 20% off your first order. Every order comes with Sheath's 100% money back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code DRUNK. Get Sheath Underwear and let them support your balls. Hey, folks. We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Rocket Money. Most Americans think they spend about $80 a month on subscriptions when the actual total cost is closer to 200 clams. You could be wasting $100 each month on subscriptions you don't even know about. That's why we love Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. The app shows all your subscriptions in one place and cancels whatever ones you don't want. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. Wow. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. Holy hell, they're raping you. To cancel a subscription, just press cancel, and Rocket Money will take care of the rest. Easy peasy. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash drunk. Seriously, you could save hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash drunk. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now at rocketmoney.com slash drunk. Get on it. That was I, not I'm not good, good with famous people, yeah. dude. I'm just not good I'm with not them. really either. Who, who, oh, you have the Jerry, the famous Jerry story. Oh, do uh, tell. Oh, my God. Tell that story. I, uh, that's that's a great story. story. The story. Get your hands off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> Was that a Rolex? That's I nice. can't have another drink. Um, I'll have another drink. Yeah, you heard the I lady. I think every, everybody heard that story. No, that's not on here. Not Tell it here. again. It's, it's the best story. All right, I'm going to give you. Right, ever you have to go buy my special right now. There you go. Buy and his special I'll right now, and he's doing. And it's LouisCK.com. Louis. Louis. Yeah, don't do Louis. Don't do Louis. Louis. There it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. Fourth of July, right not there. Not anymore. Oh. What the fuck? But you're in that movie too. And Scroll down. You Where are is amazing it? in that movie. Where dude. am I? <gasps> Jesus. Oh, Christ. my God. You got buried. Text. Text oh, somebody. There we go. Text somebody. Text, text that text son of a bitch. Go ahead. Oh, I, love that you're, I love that you're under his special sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ten under his next special, I, mean, I fucked up. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Dude? Text. You're texting, right? Yeah, I'm calling. Oh. oh. Louis, get him on. Speaker. Yeah. This is Leah. Call Leah. Ah. We love Leo, though. We love Hello. Leah. Leah. Hey, you're, Leah. You're live on uh, Mark. Mark, <laughs> podcast. I'm, pr- I'm promoting uh, Killbox uh, that you are a producer on. Hey, Leah. Executive. Uh, and I, we're, yeah, we're promoting it, but I sent them to, we're sending them to lewisck.com, but we can't seem to find where it is on, Lu- it was at the top, and we don't know where it is at lewisck.com. Hang on one second. Uh, uh, lewisck.com. And then I think. It is. It's at the bottom. Go to where it says shows and specials. Oh my! I'm not at the top. Homepage. Got to be home on the page. Home page. I'm home not page. on the home page. I'm, I'm making a call right now. I mean, find out where you went. I, I still got big. I got two weeks of promoting this special left. We're in the money. We paid. we were, This is profit time, Leah. And you got that that movie EP. Fourth of July. I mean, that's over. <laughs> that You're in bomb. Fourth of July, though. It, it did it. I'm in Fourth of July, but look at I didn't get any money out of that. Listen, <laughs> me and Leah are trying to make some cash. Fourth of July. I mean, good movie. Fuck but, your I mean, list. Fuck your bucks? list. That's a rip. It is. It is no. <laughs> it is no. <laughs> a great movie. I mean, no Fourth of July bucks. is a great movie. Yeah, it's a great it. movie. Get that. You can get Louis special, but yeah. go. That's I mean, we gotta bucks. have it. No, it's a whole series. Yeah, the whole series. I bought it. Like, oh yeah, yeah, it's great. It's a great show. I, I still can't. All right, though. Like, why is that? <laughs> All right. Yeah, go to shows and specials. It's right at the shows, top. Go to shows so and specials. Gonna, okay, here we go. All right, we're gonna have it right up. This is great you. podcasting, Love by the way. I'm muffled voice talking <laughs> about your. I know, right? Web. It's number one. <laughs> on tell shows the Jerry. And tell the Jerry Seinfeld story, please. please. All right, listen. So I, Jerry, this is this is why. And Colin Quinn, if somebody famous comes in, will take me out of the building. He will say, Bobby, it's time to go home. In the middle of hanging out, Ray Romano's there. Anybody famous comes in, Colin will go, Bobby, it's time to go. And I'm, wow. like, I'm <laughs> funny. He goes, Bob, we need to go. And he'll take me outside Ouch. and go, because no, he knows no, he's good like that, that I'm bad with famous people. Oh, okay. So Jerry's coming down with the um, crew to film Comedian. Comedian. This is... This is you know, you remember Jerry you used to hang out a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm scared to text him. I'm like Sam you. Sam had to save it, uh, be your friend. Uh, he, he, uh, 
He's filming all this stuff. Jerry Seinfeld, the, I mean, he's the biggest comic in the world. He's filming this thing. The camera's everywhere. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want to be that guy. Right. If In my head, this, these are thoughts I had. I'm letting you in on the inside. I don't want if we become friends to happen organically. I don't want to be, I don't want to be in this. If he wanted me in this, he'll have me in it. I don't want to, you know, beg to be in it or kind of suck up to be in it. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's comics there that are just sitting at the table trying to have a combo to get in the fucking movie. I stay away. I don't even say nothing to him while he's filming it to respect his, you know, fame or whatever. So one night I'm sitting there, we're talking about the Rangers. Mm. And we're talking about the year Gretzky won. Did he, was he there the, one that, the year they won the Stanley Cup? No. I'm saying yes. Oh. I don't know. They're saying no. Well, big bet going on. Dollar, I'll take a dollar. He goes, I'll take some of that action right there. <laughs> Organic, Jerry, oh. Jerry, $20 million. <laughs> right. <laughs> and a car. His, his, the producers, the camera guy, I'll take. I, all right, so yeah. we have this organic connection. I'm like, yeah. cool. Broke the ice. We talk. All right, boom. You're in. You're in. Jerry's in. Bang. So now I got to go away. I got to do a gig. I have to fly into Buffalo. It's an afternoon gig. Mm. I have to hire my own. They won't pick me up. I have to hire my own guy. So I hire a guy, shows up in a minivan with captain's chairs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. I get in. There's a VCR with headphones. He's got headphones. Every episode of Seinfeld. Hmm. This is that weekend. So he goes, I love Jerry Seinfeld. Well, I watch him all day long. I pick people up. He's all like whipped up. He goes, hey, put it on. We'll watch. It's a sign. So we're watching Belly. Seinfeld episodes. I'm in this thing in the back of a van. Uh, like, you know, those 80s love vans. Oh, no. Eight-year-old duct taped in the trunk. <laughs> right. I love Seinfeld. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we go to the, we, he takes me, I take him to lunch. Because I, 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 the show's at three o'clock. You take the minivan guy to lunch. I take him, I, I, yeah. I got to go to lunch. So he comes with me. Well, there he's calling me Jerry the whole time. He's like, I love it, Jerry. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm Bobby. <laughs> he's like, I know, but I just love Jerry. I'm like, okay. <laughs> this is sick. What this is, is happening? This is like Kathy Bates in Misery. Right yeah, here. right? We don't even have time. So the gig, I don't know this gig. It's it's yeah. a college thing. It's outside. It's a beer fest. Uh, outside. Bad news. After a metal band. In oh, Buffalo. This keeps getting worse. In Buffalo. In the, it, on and off rain showers oh. next to a skydiving simulator. Oh. So every five minutes, a jet engine would go off. <laughs> a, a college student drunk would be just flying next to me. So the, the band gets off. I get up there. It's hell. It starts raining. They go, you know, 50 yards back under another tent. It mm. stops. They come back out. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking working it. I'm like, boom. I get them. I lose them. The, the fucking jet goes off. Rah! Guy comes by. Funnel. They're fucking wasted. The sun's out. Buffalo, the rain comes. It. Yeah. It's so bad. I, I hit 45 minutes contractually. Thank you. Good night. Rah! I'm like, but the guy grabs me like the A team, takes me through mud, throws me in the back of the van. I got... Like maybe an hour and 10 minutes to make my plane. Goes all the way. As we're driving, he goes, I'm going to get you there. Don't worry about it, Jerry. I'm like, it's Bob. So, <laughs> we get to the airport. I, I make it to, to the plane. He goes, can you just do me a favor? Can you get me a signed autograph of Jerry? Jesus Could you? I go, Christ. listen, dude. I met him the other night. It might happen. I can ask. Oh, my to God. Him. Oh, you can't say that. I got, the, right. I got the best story in the world, right? This hell gig. This is up his alley. Yes. Right? So I go back to the cellar the next night. Oh my God. I'm on. I'm on right after Jerry. Wow! Oh. So I walk downstairs. The hallway's packed with people watching Jerry. Of course. The camera crews there. He's on stage. This is 2002, by the way. He's the biggest he's been. The biggest he's ever been. He walks <laughs> off stage organically. We're friends. He walks off, and I go, "Hey, dude, you won. Gretzky wasn't on, and I had the buck." And he took. He looked at me like, "Like who the fuck? Oh yeah." And he took the buck. <laughs> Whoa. And then he walks up two steps. I go, hey, dude, but I got a great story for you first. Oh, no. He, he goes, you, you want your buck back? And I was like, oh, no, whatever. He takes another two steps. He turns around. And he goes, hey, listen, I'm going to be up at the table uh, having food. As soon as you're done, come up. We'll talk. We'll have some food and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk stuff out. And I was like, dude, I got a great story for you, man. I went to Buffalo. You're going to love this story. I can't wait to tell you. He goes, not you. Oh. <laughs> he was talking to the he was talking to the lady next to me. Oh. <laughs> she just not you. She just looks at me. She goes, "Sorry," and he just walked away, never to talk to me again. 
Ah, uh, never that's, done. That's that, that's crushing. worse than if he stuffed the dollar bill in your mouth and kicked you down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, right. not you is more painful. You. Just as you know, Jerry, not you. Oh. Right Damn. And then he walked away, and a crowd of people around me too. It just went. Who, do you remember the comics oh. who were there? Oh, dude, it was like somebody like was it Norton? Somebody got caught. Like fucking somebody in the ass, like that type of silence. Like, oh, oh you guys, that's a bad silence. You're fucking her in the ass, dude. Oh man, uh, yeah, it was bad. It was so bad. That's amazing. You feel so this bad. big, but that's my company name now, not you, Inc. Oh, yeah. good yeah. for you. It's like yeah. the N word. You spin it. <laughs> how do you how do you spin? Did they put it back up top? Uh, uh, no, the show. Right. absolutely not. Let's see. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah! Text wow. her and tell yeah. her she's a that fucking was, champion. That was impressive. Because she's a fucking champion. Yeah. Louis, Louis on a podcast promoting his special right now, and he's like, "Where the fuck is it?" <laughs> there we go. Good for oh, her, man. That's a pro. That's a pro. She's a fucking Leah! monster. Leah! Yeah! Leah! Leah! Oh, dude, you're gonna kill Love me. You. I got work tonight. I'll, I'll see you later. Thanks for putting it up. <laughs> Two more weeks, baby. Two more weeks. Two, two more weeks. weeks. Two, two more weeks. weeks. All right, see you later. Foot. Bye. <laughs> All right. Boy, she's the best. She's the best. She's Great. Do buy Bobby yeah, special. Man. We love Bobby. Yeah. It's He's one of the funniest. Re- really is. Killer. Yeah. It's yeah. annoying. Shakes. Yeah, thank you so much. You guys too, dude. I'm, I tell you what the best part about promoting the special was for me is getting to do everybody's podcast and the and not to be faggy, but uh, <laughs> Bring it on. the love of the... <laughs> Sorry. Keep it. Let me, keep let me, it. Let's, uh, leave it in. Not, keep it. Hey, not to be a silly bitch. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's the name of my production company. <laughs> not to be a retarded homosexual. Uh, Which you don't hey, see a lot I'll of. get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Where are the, the not to be though. a, you know. <laughs> he just says the N word. Like, all right, this is not, this is not going to be good here. No. <laughs> not to be an emotional uh, asshole. Yeah. Uh-huh. How's that? Or too, um, you know, uh, sappy. Sure. But the love of the comics, all the comics, podcasts, the fact that we don't have to do, we don't have to go to people and get a yes from people I don't even know. Right. And who, you know, who might not be fans, that we can just do this. Yep. And we can sell our albums, put our stuff out. We don't have to ask permission anymore because we're just taking care of each other. Yeah. yeah man. And getting our fans to like Skankfest. Rogan, you guys, all the podcasts I did promoted me more than any show I could have ever went on yeah. Yeah. Oh, or yeah. anything I could have well, done. Well, these late night shows, they're they such did. a bitch to get on. And yeah. then it's like, you didn't even move the needle. I know. Yeah. And you, you gave me, me a million you rules. You made me kill my joke. Yeah. You, know? you got to jump and through hoops. It's so, yeah, it, it's great. And it's the comic love is real because we are a family. And we and not to be sappy as well, but like, you know, not to be a, a homosexual as well. But, a silly, uh, silly bitch. You are. No, no. <laughs> you are. No, we... No, we uh, we it is a family and it's, that's why like we talk about Steve yeah. earlier in the episode and we're oh, like we yeah. love him and like yeah. if you if you've been to the cellar this is the dude who let you in this is yeah. the best the yeah. best guy the best yeah. we all loved him like you you should have seen the scene warm. there we were there the night after it happened oh, and it was God. like dude there were flowers in this seat he sat in that people from the neighborhood were dropping I mean by. Liter- yeah. literally like people from the neighborhood people walk by and we're like hey yeah. we heard everyone yeah. from the blue note came over one at a time last night yeah he wow. was the nicest guy because every time i was there he he you come out you go away for a while and you come back and there's a new person at the door and right somebody, it's like hey excuse me it's like what yeah like, Fuck are you, what are you out of your mind <laughs> You know what I mean? But twenty two years. Every man. time you twenty two like, years. Try to get in. He goes, not you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Steve was just, you know, yeah. he he would talk to you. Yeah. It wasn't a yo, what's up? It was, hey man, how you doing, Bobby? Right. Yeah, man. How's you your wife? How's yeah. your son? Yeah. How's the fucking this piece of shit had him saying, Hey Liz, you mad? <laughs> <laughs> You know, he would, we were filming it because he would go up to her and, and he'd make sure I was in earshot oh. so I could enjoy it. And he would go, Liz, can I ask you something? And she'd be like, oh, yeah. And he'd go, are you mad? And she'd be like, ah! Uh, that's fucking great. awesome! That's but, great. Uh, dude, my parents, I texted my parents and they were like, he took such good care yeah, of us. Yeah, my parents there. said the yeah. same thing. He would like, best. literally, when my parents were there, he would like recognize yeah. their family. And I think Luis Gomez said it the best. When I showed up at the cell, he didn't ask me who I was. Yeah. Wow. Never. Can't. 
which is huge. Yeah, that's a first. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's like wow. That's crazy. Yeah, but Lewis uh, told me that. Shout out to Lewis for the Skank Fest. You're mm -hmm. doing great the things. Best. But he said a guy, a big corporation, tried to buy it, and he said, "Nah, because no, it'll you can't, ruin it. You can't. You can't." Well, sell that. they're starting to show up. Which but, is oh really? But what I said, well, I, industry came this year. I told oh, him, I'm like, you can't no. let them. Don't you let them can't. in. They're gonna ruin it. They're gonna be can't. on their phones. There's no way Lewis oh. is gonna let a legitimate company with legitimate lawyers and accountants yeah, no, show up. AT and T yeah. uh, presents Gangfest. Absolutely right. not. How's he gonna? <laughs> how's he gonna afford his Lexus? Absolutely <laughs> not. There's no way he's letting them in. No, God bless him because he built it. I mean, and it's yeah. really cool, yeah. and it's for the fans and and. Uh, and it's not just Lewis. It's Jay and, and Dave Christine. and Christine. Yes. And Rebecca staff. Rebecca. Yeah. It's, it's very staff. cool. Let me tell you something about that staff. They're fu They're so good. Yeah. yeah, they're on it. They're so good because they know who you are. Mm -hmm. They know what you mean to the festival. Yeah. And they treat you. They'll, I can't tell you, dude. I was like, I need a chair. We got a chair for you, Mr. Kelly. This is a guy who's probably a comic. Mm. But yeah. he's... He, you know, and he, there's no ego involved. They're like, look, man, we're glad to be here too. And they work all day, all night for four days, five days straight. These Longer than that, like setting up all that shit. Like there's looking at it, walking in. There's so much that goes into that. They're oh, working yeah. for months and then on It's going to be bigger like, and bigger and bigger. Man, oh man. Yeah. yeah. It was so much yeah. fun. Wonder and it's so all based fun. on fucking atrocious, evil, fucked up, hilarious yeah. comedy. It's, it's, it's not bending one second. Yes. I walked in on whatever Saturday. Yeah, the there's first no thing at Skank Fest. The first no. thing I walked in on yeah. was you do get that the boxing match <laughs> where it was four dudes with shock shock collars oh, blindfolded great. kicking the shit out of each other. Look at yeah. it was amazing. We look at I'm not I'm not gonna trash uh Meaningful comedy, I think I, that's what I call it. Sure. <laughs> God bless you. Meaningful. Meaningful comedy. It's the opposite of comedy. But it's like important people comedy. People want f look at the fun. fart is still king. Sure, escapism yeah. is king. I mean, when everyone's trying to make a point, yeah. What makes you laugh harder than just pure silliness? Like yeah, when, totally. when every late night host was like Trump, this Conan would just go out and do jokes. Yes, yes. and there was something kind of beautiful yeah. about that. And if Absolutely. you're all doing Trump, it's go it's over. It's, it's ruined. Over. It's not edgy. No, no. I was next to Luis Gomez. He lost a bet with Jay. We're in front of thousands of people on live streaming mm -hmm. on moment, mm -hmm. and they stuck a on Nintendo mint. on mint Duck Hunter. <laughs> Gun in his bum. I held the mic to his mouth. Play the music, the the sound effect for the duck hunt. And it was, I mean, dude, uh, dude, Jake Shields, a champion in fighting. Yeah, <laughs> that was his ass. There was all Thank the you. girl comics. Everybody was on stage. They raffled off two stage seats for guys to watch it at fifteen hundred dollars a pop, and J Big J. Stuck a gun in Lewis's butt. Yeah. And it was the greatest, one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I love it. It was so funny, outrageous, and stupid. It and made it needs, no sense. And I think comedy, all kinds of comedy should exist. Like you say the yes, meaningful comedy, that's yes. great that it exists. Yeah. But you need, if you have that, you need the other end of but it. But no one's trying to take away meaningful comedy. That's what was feels weird about this. Like people are like, hey, we gotta shut that down. It's racist. It's if homophobic. you do meaningful comedy to me, you better fucking Take it on the road and and focus test it and a little laughs. bit. Yeah, you bet. Because when you're just you doing it, yeah, well, make it have, comedy. Yeah, you, you don't have. You should do that, but they don't have. To. You don't have to, but you should well, because well, it'll make it better. It'll make it tighter, and it can still be, have meaning and be tight and honed and and good. There's something about not being famous that makes you funnier because you're in a room full of people that like you, and then there's a bunch of people that don't know who the fuck you are, mm -hmm. and you have to get them. Yes. So when you're at a club and you have to get twenty five percent of the room who just came because yeah. they got tickets or whatever, yeah. that makes you have to, you know what I mean? Bring it. When you show up and they're all there to see you, which is awesome. Sure. Greatest feeling in That's comedy. That's the goal. But you you get away with a lot more yeah. silly but, shit. But on the other halfway. end of that, when no one knows who you are, you have to kill every time mm -hmm. and you can't write new shit. Absolutely. So there's definitely the middle. Yeah, I think you're right. There's a, there's a middle ground in that, but it does make you better. But, but these the, the meaningful comedy, which I... Dude, I don't hate. You know what I mean? It's good. It's good. Yeah, Gary good. Goldman's uh, depression. Gary, great writer. Uh, yeah. Gary is a road. Brilliant writer. Gary is, is He's a real I, comic. But that special yeah. people, Gary's moved a word me Smith. so much because I, I know I love him. Yeah. And the fact that he went away to get healthy 
first mm. and then came back and was a comic second. You know what I mean? But like those yeah. are brilliantly written jokes. Right. I, I mean, if you haven't seen it, The Great Depression, HBO, Gary yeah, go Coleman. to LouisCK.com first. Yeah. Yeah. It's Killbox. on the home page. Laffle. I, mean, I met you guys page. for the first time together in Atlanta. Like must have been like 2010 or something. Tourism. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you were both, I was a fucking mm. young ass comic and you guys were both so cool to me. And it was like, you know. That was a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we really uh, fucked up. Yeah. I you apologize. fucked up. You fucked up. Are you mad? Are you mad? I'm a little upset, Bobby. I'm a little upset. Call this episode, you mad. I'm a little upset. I saw, I saw Gaffigan peeved. downstairs at a comedy club and Legion of Skanks were upstairs doing their crazy horse shit. And Gaffigan's like, man, thank God for them. And I'm like, yeah. what? He's the cleanest comic on the planet. I'm like, you like them? He's like, they keep the they keep moving the line. Otherwise, other people will just move it all the way that way. Yeah. Without them, yeah. you need both sides yeah. to keep moving. You needed it. dice. You needed yeah. Kinnison. Yeah. You needed Pryor. You needed this motherfucker. Right. Yeah. You need those guys to push the boundaries as far as they can push it. And then we have so much room to play in. Right. So much more people can exist. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a good point. I mean, yeah. even though if he was around today, he'd be a corporate shill. Nah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He, he wouldn't would be around. Have him. There's no way he'd be around yeah, today. That's, that's true. <laughs> Unless he got that surgery. Oh, speaking of the, look at this shit. Have you seen this? The Richard Pryor singing. This has been going around. Oh God. It's amazing. He has a good voice. Why did? But can I? Can, before you play it, before yeah. this ruins everything. That's in my what life. I say. It's weird. I, I get it. He's a good singer, but this is. Why does every comic when they make it? A lot of them have think they can put out a song. This is before we made it. No. Yeah. 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 1966. He hadn't made it yet. I mean, he still has a comic good point. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can't. Please stop. Uh, it's incredible. Are you going to cry? Yeah, no, Bobby's no, going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm, is, this literally is ruining prior for me. All right, close. That's close how it. I feel. It's great. That I'm, sweater is ruining I love it that me. singing ruins him for you, but him freebasing and lighting himself on fire no, is good. That yeah, helps. That helps. <laughs> that brings him up. Dude, I mean, Dude, if you saw Burt Kreischer sing like that, you'd be like, that's the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, the that'd fact be a that mind he, fuck. The that'd fact be that a, he a has that ability. Fuck. Dude, what are you talking about? He grew up in a whorehouse. What? <laughs> That's how he made his money when he was 10. Yeah. Eh, Fucking right. walk around. Hey, baby, go sing for the gentleman. He is Don Draper. He's basically <laughs> the Don Draper of comedy, this tragic fucking life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, and, no. Oh, no, no, oh, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Wait, turn that. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Are you losing your mind, Mark? Oh, wow. All right, oh, all right. No, Stop. no. His tits alone no. are bothered. Yeah, I know. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a real milker. <laughs> That's that. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> any, well, any other any other peeves or wrecks, anyone? I mean, you can't really top the ones we do. I mean, I yeah. have pet peeves. I, I just have people who break the law, but not just the, not the law of the land, a uh, human law. We have law, like Halloween. This is the first year that our neighborhood had got kids in the last few years. We, our neighborhood dies. Neighborhood, I don't know if you know this, but neighborhood will die. Uh, families move in the 50s. They have kids. The neighborhood's popping. Those people get old. The kids move away. The neighborhood dies. Hmm. Those people die. New families move in. They, name, they have kids. The kids get older. They play on the block. It's rejuvenated. That's what happened to my neighborhood, my street. Never did trick or treat on my street because there was no kids. Mm -hmm. It's all old people. Now there's kids. So we did trick or treat. We had a party, and uh, we did. We walked around the neighborhood. We sent out flyers. Hey, number one, if you have a pumpkin, if you have lights or any decorations for Halloween, and you don't have candy or you're not answering your door, you're an you asshole. You should be slapped in the face. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're a fucking piece of shit. Interesting. <laughs> if you lit your house up orange and had a pumpkin. Uh, a hologram pumpkin on your fucking side of your house and my kids ring your door and you and I can see your TV, your hundred foot plasma on the wall watching the fucking stupid sports and you don't answer the door, I should be able to crawl in your window and slap you in your fucking face and then take your remote and throw it in I the I just woods. have a picture of Bobby like banging on someone's door <laughs> screaming, you fucking asshole! I do it no, I, I do I it from the sugar. street. With these kids behind you. Where the fuck is the candy? Yeah. I, I do it from the street. I'm going, I, I just kept going, we see you. Of course. We see of course. you. And now here's another one. You guys this are like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> hello? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That was impressive. That was, that was impressive. That was yeah. That's yeah. what's going on. Dude, what candy are you giving out at your home? Dude, we gave out everything. 
Full get, size or fun size? No, you can't do full size. Oh, no. That's too much. You can't. Too much. It's too much. It's too much. Full size was like an eighties yeah. thing, nineties. Killed Ralphie, man. Yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> you got to give. I, but I let them take as much as they want. There you That's go. what I say. Ah. Take wow. as much as you want. Now, now let's not get carried away. If the little streety fucker goes <laughs> exactly. in, and grabs, it's like I meant three. Yeah, yeah much, right. as much as you want is three. To four. Mm-hmm. Right. You go five, six, I'm slapping your hand. I'm mm-hmm. looking at your dad going, this is what you raised? This piece of shit? Right? <laughs> but here's another thing, too. That's what happened with the bowl on the, uh, oh, Dude, shit. Here we I go. Got, I'm telling you. <laughs> what the these, fuck? Because these savages. <laughs> what the See, they fuck? take all of the bowl. It they never took works. the bowl. It never works. This is, this is My, the gateway to juvenile hall right here. Uh, this, this is why is, communism yeah, doesn't is, work. But why do you leave the fucking somebody. bowl outside? Yeah, I raped a girl. It happened. What'd you do? I stole a bowl of candy <laughs> in White Plains. <laughs> it started with a box of Whoppers. <laughs> yeah, it, stopped. it ended with a knife and gun. You yeah. love a good From Whopper. Smack. The guy was in there. I saw him why, but it didn't come out, so I took the whole bowl. Uh, my ring camera went off probably, no joke, 15 times Halloween night. All of it. And I took some screenshots. All of it. Hey, take one, not the whole bowl. Uh, uh. I'm not kidding. This is a thing now. These scumbags, these piece of garbage kids who don't have fucking morals because their families suck, are just going up, taking... There's a bowl. First of all, I blame you, you lazy cocksucker. If you're in there, open the door. Open the door. No, I'm blaming oh, the person between these two. Okay, okay. The guy, the resident. Oh, the resident next door. Yeah. If you're in the house, open the fucking door, get a mask, do something, and say, hey, how you doing? Participate. Teach these for your job right. as a candy dispenser on Halloween is to teach these little kids one fuck face. You got to regulate. Yeah. One. And then they know they go to the next house. One, one, one. You hear one, 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 one. You know to take one. But all these lazy fucking Halloween couple, millennial shit people who left New York to go to fucking Westchester and get a house like you, Bobby. A, I know, I know. But I have, I have morals. I have good morals. I don't have a dad, but I have good morals. Yeah. You do. You do. Yeah. Not you, you but you uh, raise, <laughs> they take the they not only do they yeah. this is why these kids suck they take all the candy and they have a bag to put it in but yeah. they take the bowls no oh, I'd kick they some take fucking literally the, whole, the bowl the physical bowl and some of these people are using these great bowls these nice right. bowls that they like which is well, stupid that's, that's not smart on their part though but wh- why why can't you leave a bowl out that's you crazy. should be able to, but I don't. I still don't think it's. In 1953, you could leave a bowl out. Right. I don't think you could. 1980s just leave, a- leave a bowl out. 70s leave a Where? bowl out. Dude, in the 80s when I went trick or treating, first of all, two uh, uh, pillowcases. Mm-hmm. I would go out by myself. Yeah. And we he went was up. A Klansman. That's why. And, uh, yeah, that was my outfit. I That's needed one for the outfit yeah. and to get into the club later that night. Oh my God. I didn't think I was gonna see my uncles. But, uh, oh my God. Dude. Oh, it was this bitch. Oh. That's where he gets it. Oh god, they're, they're garbage have drones people. that you can buy at Amazon soon, and and it's gonna shoot up, and you can threaten kids. Right, it'll Wait. shoot little little things. Here's what like, I'm gonna pellets. invent. Yeah. I'm gonna invent. <laughs> I'm gonna invent a steel thing that you drill into your deck, and it dispenses one candy. Like a oh. yeah. Halloween Pez dispenser. It dispenses one candy. This is all COVID shit too. Like people don't want to. Oh, that's people don't want right. to touch little kids, yeah. and I get it. Nobody yeah. wants to be touching a bunch of little fucking rugrats. From but the, you don't have to. Just fucking have the yeah, ball. Yeah, they're and there. Like, <laughs> trick or treat. Yeah, I get it. People just want to stay in the house. But then don't do the candy. Yeah, you're right. That's what it is. I I blame that. It's one or the other. (laughs) And and the fact that you're not going out with your kids, this 10-year-old's going out, you got to go out with your kids now. Kids suck now. Our generation, my generation, we had morals. You got an ass whooping. If you got caught stealing the candy, what? Morals is an ass whooping. Uh, that's how you get them. Uh, <laughs> you got you never got beat. That's why you're sitting there in the chair. <laughs> well, you threw your wall. You heard one loud voice. You threw this your wall across the room. It's true. I've never heard an older person say that their generation was better before. This oh. is crazy. Oh, like <laughs> you guys are better at a lot of things. <laughs> Just listen. Bobby was 13 drinking in a park with 30 year olds. Yeah, Let's right. not. My generation say was his better. Generation. They forced you. They forced you to get drunk at 13. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, 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 we're trick or treating <laughs> if I took more than one candy I'd get a beaten uh, I don't know I, I blame both people I blame the scum scum my kids but the people who don't who just when you just put a bowl out you're a piece of shit yeah, yeah. stay home stay home where are you where are you on what was it Monday yeah right. where well, were you where are you at on the well, no costume kids taking candy 
Uh, I think you, you got to dress up. No costume, no candy. I tell you what, you, they, if you catch them, you should be forced to dress them in whatever costume you want to put uh-huh. them in. Aha! Yeah. Blackface. <laughs> well, what if. God. What now if, you got to go home with uh, that. <laughs> Deal with uh, I mean, most. <laughs> most of, <laughs> Norman just stands at the door with tar, yeah. just waiting for it. Once we start making clan and race jokes, we know that the booze oh has God. hit. And we yeah. should probably wrap up yeah. soon. Uh, yeah. Oh, you have a blackface Lord. on blackface? <laughs> <laughs> Get that. Uh, sober. I'm gonna sell a special. Watch, Take that out. Watch Jason. Bobby Kelly's special, Killbox, mm-hmm. LewisCK.com. It's yeah. at the top right now. Oh, the top of the homepage. Yeah. Top of, Love it. Top Leah of the rules. Ten what bucks, you'll laugh your face off. What piece of shit that was like, let's move this down. That's Probably you know, Lewis. Louis no, no, I blame Joe List. Uh, Why? For his dumb movie, because his shitty movie was on the top. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's a great movie, a and great you were really movie. good yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, buy that too. I've had three drinks That's a great for movie. breakfast. No, it's a great movie. Fantastic. I mean, everything. Fourth of July is amazing. Everything Louis is yeah. doing is, he's, is yeah. great, because he's literally making his own Netflix and then yeah. giving other people opportunities like yeah. myself and Joe. So yeah. cheers to Louis. Here, here. Yay. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, and, uh, Bobby. And thanks, let's Liz. plug some of Bobby's tour dates as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. You're on the road. Do? I got a podcast too. I don't know if you guys you know have what, heard dude? of it. You know what, dude? Oh, you got Bargazzi coming up. We got tonight. We got uh, the Regs, Lewis, Lewis, uh, Joe, list. Dan, and Nate tonight. Yeah. Woo! It's a big one. We might and and we might have a Lewis CK might stop by. No. Whoa. I'd like to get you guys on at some time. I'd love to. I'd love to come That'd by. Great. All right, that's great. I'd love. It's right. so yeah. weird when you ask somebody to do a podcast. You're like, I'd like. To, you'd let, you're like, really? You're like, yeah. Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be everywhere. Comedy Connection in Rhode Island. Laugh Boston. And first time in three years, I'll be back in Boston doing a club. Mike oh, nice. drop. Mike drop in San Diego. Off the hook comedy club. Ugh. Uh, Governor. Tim Gage is opening for Helium you at Comedy Club Buffalo. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. <laughs> you and Tim Gage? Easy. Easy. He's on the verge of suicide. Uh, who, Tim Gage? Oh, yeah. Fingers crossed. I watched his audition set. It was it was wild. Fingers crossed. <laughs> 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 fucking Liz. Uh, he doesn't have a podcast. Fuck Tim Gage. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Bobby Kelly. Dot, yeah. Robert Kelly. Dot com. Yeah. Ro- uh, Robert Kelly Live. Dot com. There you go. Robert Kelly Live on Instagram. All that shit. Follow me on that. I guess that's what the kids do now. Uh-huh. Remember, don't take all the candy just take one <laughs> uh, you got to yeah. get to watch look at that Hour. Yeah, dude that looks James like Webb's Blade Runner uh, yeah. Uh, yeah that was James Webb who made that we love it uh, Kansas City coming up Tacoma Spokane then uh, OKC we've moved that and then the, the the real tour starts we got uh, St. Louis Dallas I don't fucking know go to Samuel. go to the website it's shows. always so on his dates. fucking Vegas, Instagram uh, Jesus you, you can't Dallas have... all this blah, shit it's blah, gonna be non you can't uh, have a family I don't. I don't have a lot. He life. has no life. family. Do you want a kid someday? Uh, oh, please! Yeah, no. I'd love to. What? I'm, yeah, over kid. I'm. I'm a few steps removed. From a the, few. Yeah. Sure, sure. But uh, hey, let's go one step at a time. Uh, hitting, <laughs> I'm literally hitting every city: Boston, DC. That's not your website. Literally anymore. everything. That's, Samuel. That's Norman. Slash show. So just go to the website. Class Act. Tour. Mark. Mark. You look at Mark. Does not like being married. He's away yeah. every <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I mean, you hate your wife. Uh, you my that right. God. She's opening she's for him. She's going to take my wife to her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm in New Haven, uh, Wilbur, New Orleans, Philadelphia, <laughs> Nashville, Buffalo, you My you name it. God, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I like, I like the road. I like the road. Cops, like comedy club. And, we're married tour. to the sea, my friend. <laughs> yes, yeah, we're married to the sea. Exactly. C word. And uh, <laughs> no, no, she's very nice. She's a good egg. And uh, a good egg. huge tits. Very lucky guy. Queef. I can't wait for this. <laughs> Mark <laughs> trying to express uh, you doing your vows. I love you. You're the best queef uh, something. Yeah. I'm See, wait, wait, wait. Did you write? Are you writing your vows? Ah, I got another comic to write them. But, uh, I paid them. Orny Adams. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you're good. I'm the best. Yeah. <laughs> but you're good. Uh, you BodegaCatWhiskey.com. Yes. Buy the whiskey. We love you, G- Liz. You can see it. It would at the be cellar. nice if if we could, you could sell it in New York and you could. Uh, oh Jesus. My and Lord, we could have it at the cellar. Well, it'll be here by Christmas at the, at Hurry the up. cellar. Ooh. The merch is coming too. Might be out already by now. Yeah, uh, I need yours? merch. Yeah, yeah. it's Bobby. Whiskey. It's delicious. Got a I, can't, I know, but I'm it's just worth, you know. it's worth falling off the wagon for Bobby. No, it's yeah. not. First of all, no, I'll come back here and slap you in the face <laughs> if you don't drink it. <laughs> but yeah, this is awesome. Good for you guys. Is this is this like you're in money. It's We're trying. Great. We're this trying. Is Ryan yeah. Reynolds. But this is yeah. This you can is own a aviation. soccer team. I love talking Ryan Reynolds. Love him. Uh, I try to squeeze him in wherever I can. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of that poem you guys said when you drank? Uh, it's uh, double your pleasure, double your fun, double your vision with Allen's 101. Hey. <laughs>
Chicago. All right. Here, Jew, what, what do you got going on? Still so say less, uh, NYC on 38th Street, and uh, pay your plane NYC for all your hospitality bar restaurant needs. All right. Salamanca, nice. Liz, anything? I'm directing Daniel Simonson's special. Whoa! Comedy on Comedy. stage. Ooh. November 18th. No yeah. check spot, I hope. Yeah, no check Tell spot. Em. All right. I love those people comedy on stage. Good egg. Tell Great club. People. The best. One of the best. Even Anna. If you know, if you can, please donate to the Steve King GoFundMe. Oh, yeah. It's. Yeah. Uh, I mean, buy my special first. Yeah, spend oh. spend then, ten dollars. Listen, yeah. spend ten dollars on Bobby's special. Yeah. Worth it. I mean, they did. He hit also the spelled. Right. Com- <laughs> I mean, they both kill. He's been, he's they should have put a million. <laughs> <laughs> they both kill. Jesus. We love you. And we'll see you very soon. Thanks for Bye. listening, guys. Sunday's the day for my next best